Hello everybody, hope everyone is doing well. Ooh, looks like I might need to adjust my gate a bit. I think my cooler's coming in, or my fan. Hopefully that will be better. It is tough again to get ahead of solid solid. It's just like, bam, there. Dandy's candy, that is excellent. I don't know what rhymes with excellent. <laughs> All right, yeah, that looks a lot better. I don't think my fan is coming in any longer unless I speak and you can hear it, but at least it's not going to be in the background. So, I made an announcement in my Discord, and I just kind of announced it um, on Twitter, but um, I'm going to be taking a break from d and I just kind of feel burnt out, like I'm not connecting with my character as much, and I'm not putting the effort that I want into my characters, and... It kind of sucks because I probably should have figured this out, like, you know, before I actually introduced my new character. So I kind of feel bad. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just not there. I'm not present enough in D&D. Like, my mind is always on a build or something else. And I'm just not present. And I don't think that's fair to anybody. Um, so I will be, this will be my last night streaming for D&D &D for a while. I will definitely be back and I will definitely be back with We Roll Runs. Um, and that's pretty much just Iron D's crew of D&D, uh, &D, whether it's him putting on the show or if it's one of our normal crew that puts on the show. Um, we kind of think of We Roll Runs as a team of uh, players. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, Iron D is just usually the DM because he's the most experienced and stuff. Um, but Raiboki did do a one shot for uh, Iron D's birthday and it was fantastic. So hopefully they'll do one of those in the future as well. Yeah, sad face. I know. I just I just needed... I just need something to get me out of my funk. Like I said, I'll be back. I'll be back for sure. I just, I just need a break. <laughs> um, yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> but uh, I will be continuing streaming, of course. Um, it'll still be over on Twitch. I probably won't be streaming I know, I'm sorry, Josh. But think of it as taking, you know, you're going to just fill my shoes. It's all good. Um, but I will be still streaming on Twitch. Uh, I probably won't be streaming anything on YouTube. Um, the only thing I streamed on YouTube is my D&D &D stuff. Um, just because I was uploading episodes and stuff. Um, anything else that I do upload to YouTube will be pre-recorded over on Twitch. 
Um, and it's nothing to say against YouTube. In fact, I think YouTube is doing an amazing job with their algorithm. It's just, uh, you know, I built everything on Twitch and I'm comfortable with Twitch. And, you know, that's just how it is. Um, and the way that I do things is more conducive over on Twitch for right now. Just because I do listen to my own music and my own audiobooks and stuff over on Twitch, whereas YouTube, I wouldn't be able to do that. They don't have separate channels like Twitch does. And, and that's fine. Like, that's nothing against YouTube. They're doing everything correctly. It's me. That's a me problem because I'm doing things that are bad. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. One day, maybe we'll make a effort to stream more on YouTube, but for now we're just going to do pre-recorded stuff and upload, which kind of sucks. Like I need just to get into the habit of hitting the record button with the live button. So that way I don't have to download from Twitch, which takes forever. And then honestly, it is the processing time to upload to YouTube that takes a long time. But you know, at least since it's not so episodic where, you know, a new issue is coming out weekly. It's, I can do it over however amount of time I want to do. Before I, I just was trying to do it on time, but that wasn't working out. But yeah, anyways, that's where I'm at. That's that that's the news of Genesis Games for right now. Um, but I'll be back one day. I promise. Let's uh, join the crew. Jesus, what the fuck is that? Rush put something in Discord and it is scary looking. Anyways, let's do this. Ah. A lot of fun. What's fun? Voice attack. Oh, yeah. Where you, where you yell at people? I used it in a lot of different games. I used it in Division 2 a lot and I would yell out maps and it would pop up with my map or run force run to sprint or you mm -hmm. know frag out <laughs> mm -hmm. i think I that would it. drive me absolutely insane because i would just be sitting here working and hearing devil like run shoot let's not get too hasty here can we try this once or twice <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't think star citizen it'd be more like power to shields Power to weapons. Power to shields. Nah, Power he doesn't weapons. get as much ship combat anymore. Landing gear. I do want to me up, Scotty. Playing by myself. <laughs> I do ship combat all the time. Z, fucking sit down. That's yeah, that's, yeah, that would yeah, be one. Gonna, yeah, that's gonna be a big one. Buckle up, Z, but, and it's just you know something tying I, down. I, Z. I swear, like I, I feel like sometimes when we play together, sometimes he's like, "Are you sitting down?" I'm like, "Oh yes, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> it would be yell, don't jump out of the ship. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that too, huh? Or if he doesn't the door, it's open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't start sitting down, I'm gonna have him like just sit in the back. <laughs> with, with and I'm gonna open the I'm gonna open the hangar doors and then just <laughs> thrust out of there, <laughs> let him fall out the back. <laughs> That'd be so Again. funny to see. Voice attack was a lot of fun with Elite Dangerous. Yeah, that was a big one, too. Yep. yep, that's where I started with voice attack. And lucky for me, the same voice packs for Elite Dangerous work for Star Citizen. Yeah, oh, that's cool. A lot of, a lot of them are, were made in tandem with each other, so they could always be released at the same time. Yep. The only one that I have that does not work in Star Citizen is a K a KSAI. Okay. I haven't. Been, I, I, I still get the emails all the time, but I haven't been keeping up with any other voice packs and stuff since I kind of stopped playing Elite. But I still run it just so I. And I'm not running voice attack right now, but when I say I'm under attack, or there, um, one of those commands, KSI will respond with, "Cause you're a dick." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I just love it. I hacked a crime stat today. That oh, was nice. Cool. Uh, I've done that a couple of times. 
Yeah, they, they tend to step in front of you, don't they? Yeah. She yeah, was using a sniper rifle. <laughs> nice. And he stepped right in front of the scope right as she pulled the trigger. I know how that goes. I know how that goes. Oh, and also, uh, I 10 out of 10 recommend that new Ninja Turtles game if anyone hasn't played that right? yet. Right? It's so fun. Uh, it's we all so need to get fun. together because I want to see how many enemies appear on screen with six. Oh, God. We've done three. It was Devil, Me, and G, and there's quite a few enemies. So I want to see how much more hectic it gets with six people. We unlocked uh, Casey Jones, so nice. I'm down. I love you. He hates uh, him. I hated him. Oh, cool. His stats seem really good, mm -hmm. but I hated him for some reason. It he like it says his power is high, and then is it because he doesn't uh, know about cricket. Apparently, uh. <laughs> uh, it says he's got decent. Like his highest stat is reach, but I'm like only in certain situations. Like his normal base attack doesn't have very good reach at all. It's just his like charge ups and stuff. I'm like that's some bullshit. <laughs> I think too you had just gotten done playing um, April O'Neil and you did, you were surprised at how well she played too yeah so. and it's so hard going from that giant peach that she has oh my God, to so a beefy Casey Jones so speaking of giant peach have you seen the package on Master Splinter I'm just kidding <laughs> 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 I'm going to go refill my water. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. And then we almost might be done with It Takes Two. I don't know for sure, though. Uh, Are you guys still talking after playing that together? Oh, yeah. We're playing it. it... We're together 24-7. I understand that, but It Takes Two is a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, there's only been a couple of incidents. Panda sent me to work with a black eye because I don't listen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well at jumping puzzles, so, uh... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I think... Wait, where are you with the game? Uh, we... Uh... Uh, I know this. We, we, we just finished the garden, and now we're helping... Oh, we just started to help her sing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I think I think you're past it then. Like there is like just there's two parts where me and Sefri like actually kind of got annoyed with each other, and it was mostly my fault because I just for whatever <laughs> reason couldn't I just couldn't get it. But like there's like this was, balancing was it the part. Magnet? No, there's like this balancing part where like <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Like that's where, that's what got me my black eye. It, I don't I don't understand like I was just like I'm not doing anything like I'm literally not doing anything and it would just like fall over immediately and I he, he yelled at me during that part and then the stupid boats like the or the boat oh part. the pirate boat yeah <laughs> stupid fucking pirate boat I hated that part yes that those were the two hardest parts for me where I was just like nah this is all you dude because I, I can't get this like <laughs> what game is this it, it takes, takes two. two. If you want yeah. to end a friendship or end your relationship, you just uh -huh. just playing it. It's it's amazing. Uh, I don't think I've heard of it. It's so good. It's it won a like really good a story. lot of awards, and it's yeah. it deserves it. Yeah, it's a good, I'm pretty it's, good at fucking up game. my own relationships on my own. I don't think I need a game. <laughs> <all> yeah. <laughs> you just play. It takes two in real life. That's all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Too bad we don't get those pop-up achievements in real life and that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Well, you do. It just it just goes different. It's always, do you know why I pulled you over? Did <laughs> <laughs> I beat the high the score mail. on speeding? <laughs> you get a little notification on your smartwatch. Achievement unlocked. Yeah. Oh. There's a new item in your Steam library. Uh. <laughs> you open it up, it's just a middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> damn, it. damn it, I already have like a dozen of these. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Solid? Josh beat Who's you that? today, Solid. Josh beat you. How By you a lot that? if he's just coming in the, if he's just coming in now. <laughs> he's probably gonna say, Oh, I was busy working out in the yard or I was busy making dinner. 
Probably you know what? dinner. You continue being a good adult because you're already right? doing better than <laughs> you're already doing better than most of us. Right? I keep telling myself I'm gonna go three days without ordering food, and then when like half an hour later we order food. <laughs> I need to be a better adult. Nah, you just need to be you. Adulting sucks. I'm trying to um, get a uh, spawn to play Ninja Turtles with me. It's 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 so fun. And then once Devil explained to me, because I never played video games until really until like uh, we got together, so like I never really played any of those like side scroller games. I, I played a couple of games, like I played uh, N64, like you know Mario or what's the racing one? Mario Kart. And, yeah, that one. Mario Kart and stuff like so that. You were very much like a just like a casual video Diddy game player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, and 007, that was the most intense one that I Golden ever, Eye, yes. Yeah, yes. I ever played. That <laughs> is, played that like, hours. that is a staple in, like, your your gaming resume. Yes. Uh, so he, he had to tell me, he was like, because I'm like, I can never hit these people. And he's like, watch your feet, because you're probably not on the same level as them. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And then, yeah, that made perfect sense. Fucking after. beat em ups. Yep. I learned that back with uh, Final Fight. God, you know what game I wish we could all play? The uh, the X Men arcade game. Oh mm, yeah, yeah, that one was fun. I don't know what that is. Donkey Kong Simpsons. Country was my jam on the on the Super Nintendo. What was mm. it? Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Country. Country. Mm. That Loved was a, that one. An amazing game. And the you second can eat one. A, dick. a big old forest of dicks, but yeah. <laughs> Now, hear me out. There was this game on the Super Nintendo called Evo, The Search for oh Eden. Oh, my Dude, God. I told you. They sell it here. It's only $750. I will get it for you. You just pay <laughs> me the money. He does not have enough allowance for that. <laughs> That's true. I am uh, in debt right now. She's like, your, na your allowance for the next six months has to go towards paying off your credit card. I guess if everyone's nice. going to talk about allowance, I might as well uh, join in on it. Thank you. But you do not right. have an allowance. So we finally broke her there. We just needed her to get, a, get her to say as the crow flies. Then we oh, know that. we won. Fuck that. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. There was another one today. Oh, no. God damn it. It wasn't today. It was the other night. Something about bears. Oh, uh, talking about being loaded for bear when. Uh... Oh, oh, my yeah. gosh. I remember the very first time my my youngest brother heard that phrase. The look of utter confusion on his face because he had <laughs> never heard it before. And uh, he's like, and like, in all seriousness, he looked at us and was like, is that just bringing a fat friend? Nope. With you? <laughs> this time you said yes. Uh, I don't. I don't. Somebody said something, but I. But I do know that I was not the first person to speak up. But it's it's a joke that we still like bring up to this day, like at all the family, all the family gatherings. It's like I never heard. It's that going before. in loaded for bears. Like so, you just is that just bringing a fat friend? He l legitimately had no idea what that phrase meant, and it's one of the dumbest things, but we still find it hilarious today. Eh? Yeah, I saw we saw it on Burn Notice, oh, and I thought show. that they were talking about... I was like, they're going to fight a bear? I'm really confused. <laughs> and then Devil was all happy, because I hate that... I, I have... I don't know why I don't like those kinds of expressions. They drive me crazy. Oh. Add another one to the list. You're going to learn a whole lot of them now that you're up here in the Midwest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I heard what is, What's the one Duresh said? Something out of pocket? Yep. Ugh. Sorry, Duresh. I apologize. <laughs> what? Ain't got nothing to apologize for? Huh. Nice. I still hate yeah. him. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus.
this? Are you ready yet, babe? I was waiting for everybody else to load in. Sure. Who are we waiting for? We were waiting for Jen. Oh, oh. Uh... That was my bad. You could have just said, Jen, get the fuck in there, because I did not realize I hadn't actually gotten into the game. I knew oh, I, I launched Tailspire, but I don't know if anybody saw it either who's like on my friends list on Steam, but I, for whatever reason, went into Table Sim at first. Mm. We haven't used Table Old Sim habits in forever. Die hard. <laughs> Old habits die hard. What was the one we were using today? Is that one that you like? many people can use? Uh, yeah, Tabletopia. Yeah, we were testing, not testing out, but I found a thing called Tabletopia that is a lot like tail or Tabletop Simulator, only it's uh, like web-based. You don't have to download anything. Mm. Oh, so you like just do like everything in a, in a browser? Yeah. Cool beans. Not everything is there, but enough to... It was showing us a shortcut of a game that he got because he kickstarted it like forever and a day ago and they're like, look, there's actually stuff. And it wasn't that long ago. It was during the flood. It was the flood. flood. Yeah. The 2020. Flood. The great yep. flood. <laughs> it was, you know, it... We were at the hotel when it happened, when the Kickstarter released. Oh, I don't remember that. I was dealing with the flood. Uh, it's fair. <laughs> The Great Flood. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, Kitsune's going to be here or if he is. He might be he's, late. He's usually um, late to school. So I guess we will jump in. Let me... Oh, I need my uh, <laughs> character sheets. How about help? Oh. Nah, I'm just going to... Oh, you're going to wing it? I never opened up mine either. That's closures. Does anyone still drink Capri Suns? Uh, hello? No, but I've been craving one for quite a while. Like the last. Oh gosh, I don't know. Probably like the next last couple of months, I've really been just craving. Craving them. I want to. Really? Go out to Wally World and pick up some. That's crazy. Yeah, the Devil just got like a forty pack from Costco, and he's what been, flavor? Uh, it was a variety pack, so Pacific it's got cooler. Is the only flavor there yeah, is. Yeah, it's got Pacific Agreed. Cooler. It's uh, not Pacific Cooler. No, he got. It, oh, okay. The three of them are Pacific oh. Cooler. I was about to start Calm writing down, an angry letter. Buddy. <laughs> My cholesterol uh, was going up. Everything. I was getting angry already. <laughs> uh, fruit punch. And uh, uh, strawberry kiwi. I don't. I don't like strawberry kiwi for some reason. I've never been a fan of strawberry kiwi. <laughs> I, I can't like... drink that one. <laughs> I mean, I can. Oh once. yeah, yeah. You can drink it once. <laughs> <laughs> I like strawberries and I like kiwis, but strawberry kiwi flavored stuff is weird. Is it the strawberry or is it the kiwi? Yes. I don't know. Oh, that he no. can't have. Yes. Strawberries. Oh, strawberries. I, you know what I don't like I mean, strawberry banana once. Ew, correct. Really? Yeah, I'm not a fan of strawberry banana either. I love strawberries, love bananas. Don't like strawberry banana. Yeah, I think it. Same. For me, I think it depends on what it is. Like there are some things that they just don't get the flavor combination pro uh, correct. I'm a and they are. Bird. They Do are it. disgusting. But uh, roll for initiative. Facetime, <laughs> you want to see it? Do you like fresh, like a fresh strawberry banana smoothie? No. Yes, like if, if I make one myself here at home, it's yeah. they're fantastic. And then uh, Caribou actually it's makes a really good strawberry banana smoothie. Does it? I th is that what we have by our house that I keep wanting to try? Yeah, Caribou mm -hmm. coffee. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know they yeah. had them over there. Yeah, we have a Caribou, and then what's the uh, Einstein, Einstein Caribou no, combo? Uh, sure. I don't know. Bagel place? Oh, um, if it's Einstein, uh, I would do Caribou over Einstein. Is it, is it Einstein really and Ebert's or something? It's some sort of like a bagel shop, I think. Einstein is yeah, because we used to have like, um, one of those and. In... Their Caribou has like a some weird co-op thing with them, where a lot of the Caribou places will be attached to 
one of the Einstein places and you can like walk <laughs> through on the inside. Is it like a Pizza Hut Taco Bell situation? Something like that, yeah. That's the weirdest combination. No, the weirdest combination is the uh, Taco Bell Long John Silvers. Yeah. What the fuck? You don't do fish There's, tacos? I love Long John Silvers. Love Long John Silvers. Where we used to, where we first lived in Phoenix, there was a Long John Silver like right by us. Then when we moved to Tempe, no Long John Silver. Only Taco Bell Long John Silvers. And they're not good. I just saw something else on D&D Beyond. Up there in the upper right hand corner, right below your profile name, there's a little dancing colorful wizard. Oh, yeah, the wizard. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's that probably mode? for pride. Hey. No, no, no. It's, it's, no, it's, it's the. Because it's party time. Yeah, party time mode. Did you guys oh, see that? You said the word pride. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said it that way, because Devil said it first. <laughs> <laughs> All snooty. Um, I don't even know what that's supposed to do because when I turn it on, nothing, nothing happens. Thanks. It just makes them. Yeah, it just makes oh. your stuff flash. I think when you roll, it'll do something. No, it's when you hover over because I've had this thing on for years. When you hover over um, on the main page, it only shows in a couple of things. Uh, it'll start going like uh, all flashy rainbow. Oh, right Where there. Is, on... Yeah. Collection game rules sources. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. That's stupid. Where, where is this thing at? I turned it's it off. Hidden. Um, so if you see the subscribe button on the main page of D&D Beyond, uh -huh. there's nothing to the right of it in that gray bar. Hover right. your mouse over, keep going over, mm -hmm. and there's a hidden oh, icon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flash color warning. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's party mode. Wow, that's it's all weird. it does? It doesn't yeah. do anything. That's stupid. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it brings the party. Something. <laughs> well, I expected, you know, when it said flash color warning that, you know, when I rolled the dice, there would be like fireworks or something. Oh, you got to pay for that. <laughs> Betty. That's, that's my dice. They, uh, they, I, they icicle up everything on the screen. Ooh. That's different cool. dice do different, um, some do. Some, that's all. true. Yeah. Some. Uh, dice do like uh, uh, animations. Like, there's one that does. What's the one that has the snail? The what? The snail. It's oh, like, the snail flail. Yeah, there's one that has like a snail. If you get a d, if you roll a twenty. Yeah, snail flail for net <laughs> twenty. Um, the pride dice I think have something too, or do they not? I don't think they do. Oh, okay. They just look cool. I have the. Uh... I use the cosmic dice. Oh, those are cool. And they're kind of cool. Like all the dice is like all the different faces aren't actually connected. They kind of float independently in the general shape of a d20. And then when the dice times out, every everything expands and then disappears into a black hole. That's super cool. I think I'm using. I think I just switched mine to the pink fuzzy dice. Hmm. I, I mean, it'd be more fun if everybody in the campaign could see other people's roles. That way you can share, you know, the dice that you spent real world money on. True. The, 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 fake, dice, the yeah. fake dice that you spent real money on. That you would can be see nice. them in the uh, game log. I, like, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. You yeah, but it doesn't the show the animations. So, for example, it, yeah, yeah, you can't see the animations, but you can see, like, what dice they're rolling. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Uh. You see my dice? Right. You should be able to well, see me again. No, nobody. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't actually looked since you were last time. I was like, nobody can see your shit, Jen. Your, your <laughs> thing's broken. <laughs> but, like, I can see yours now, and I won't, but you can see mine? Can we see oh, each I... other? Is this a. Maybe? I'll show you mine. I was wondering if you, you were going to take it that far or not. Uh -huh. Always, course. I take it. Because I'm going to take it as far as I can go. Oh. I'm going to roll saw again. You roll. Hi. Yay. Standing by. It's for the still result. just sitting there, but I can see you rolled. Same. Oh, oh there yeah, it there it is. Yay, okay, I'm yeah, connected that's the, that's again. That's the pride set. I yes. have those. They were free. Of course, I've got them. 
Yeah. <laughs> Grab those for you guys. Yeah, it's my favorite price. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see well, for most I things, have. anyway. Jen's gonna roll an acrobatics check. Oh, yep. I have fuzzy dice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I have the I have the ice dice. These are my lucky dice. And I think it's only because they're specifically built for this campaign. Yeah, they're the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden campaign dice. Ooh. <clears throat> I like the. Uh, what's the other ones I have? Like Archmage or something like that? I don't know. That they make. They make up like princess noises when the. Uh, sure. Know. So last time you guys Sorry. were. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> last time we played. Uh... Does anybody remember? I wasn't paying attention. We had a battle. Uh, my character was introduced. We fought a troll and a yeti. Mm -hmm. ah, killed yes. them. And then we ran into what's her face. But we sided with Belen. Belen. My buddy yes. got taken over by or got possessed by Nass. Somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So the last time we played, you guys uh, dealt with the ice troll and the abominable yeti, yeti um, in the Garden of Death. Yeah. You were able to locate the dead body of Nas Lantamir, uh, who had become a ghost, who immediately possessed uh, Josh's character's body and had a conversation uh, between you guys trying to convince you to abandon Valin and take her with you instead. Uh, ultimately, after using the Zone of Truth spell, you kind of sussed out that neither of them were really lying. Na uh, Nass was lying about more than Valin was. Valin was very honest with you guys on her motives, why she was going with you, what her intentions were. Uh, ultimately, you ended up siding with her and leaving Nass's ghost and body behind. <clears throat> Did you guys decide where you were going to go <coughs> next? Um, your ultimate goal, you have uh, rescue the Professor Orb, Professor Scant. You have reunited him with uh, Valin, and that was where we left off. Aren't we gonna go inside the castle to get that uh, that booky thing? You that were. Has... Okay, hey, yeah. You were, we and must... you were waiting until it was. Uh, I think you guys were planning on waiting until it was dark. Yes. Because that is when uh, Oril, <laughs> the out. Frost Maiden, leaves for her nightly spell casting to cast the rhyme. So that gives you a good. From the point of time it is now, uh, we'll say a good eight hours between when she leaves and what time it is now. So you've got some time to kill. They want to play go ball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys did. You guys we don't did have a goat, already. sorry. Um, <laughs> Anyone got a link cloth? <laughs> <laughs> so is there any information or anything you guys are trying to get? Uh, you guys have rescued the uh, re rescued professor scant uh now you guys have time to sit down and actually talk to valin if there's anything you need to know All right, we asked her what her whole reason for getting the book was and um fuck dude what else i can't remember anything else uh that was roughly like yeah you asked her why she needed the book um she explained that it was to it that it contains a spell that will help get through the magical barrier that is protecting the lost city um you asked why she wants to go there uh basically fame and riches and the potential for finding a way to end the rhyme uh, and stop oral. And other things that 
don't seem important at this point, I guess. Because I can't remember them. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of this took place right after we had our battle. So, have we rested at all yet? Yes, you guys did take a full long rest. Okay, because I am still down to only 20, 20 HP. Yeah, if you guys haven't, you can take the full long rest button now and... I'm. Am I fully healed? Because I had, like, levels of exhaustion. You are not fully healed. Um, You, after your long, your first long rest, drop down to... Level one. Only one, yeah. Uh, you'll have to take another long rest, which is another eight hours... Okay. ...before you are uh, fully healed. Okay, so disadvantage on ability checks. Got it. So eight hours till nightfall, huh? And mm -hmm. we need eight hours for her to be fully recovered? Yep. Mm. Sounds like nap time to me. I was just going to say, let's take a nap. We just had a big battle. <laughs> we don't want to, like, discuss anything first and then take a nice little nap nap. <laughs> we don't have any questions oh. for Belen or... Um, why are we all line of sight goblins? Because he didn't oh, want to put uh, our avatars out there. Yeah, I can I can throw your guys' uh, characters out here. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, also, are you guys resting at the like on the beach where you found Nass, or are you resting? Are you like making your way inland? I'm assuming we're using the hut, yeah. I think uh, Kitsune <clears throat> pulled the hut out and we were, we went in the hut. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just want to know where the hut is? Yeah, I want to know if it's <laughs> like at the castle or if it is... Uh... I would think we would do it close enough to the castle where we don't have to trek a whole bunch, but not too close to where someone would see us. Would you guys agree? Yeah. didn't help you at all, did it? That's um, close enough. Am I missing anybody? No, looks like everybody's there. Oh, there it is. Don't. You still have us as goblins on the left. Don't but... seem me. Oh, right. you, oh somebody. hold on, hold on. I, maybe I didn't uh, give you permission. Oh, yeah, there I am. Oh, okay. there we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot. My character changed. Yeah, how come Rusty. mine didn't? Uh, did you purchase a uh, Hero Forge mini? Yeah. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to link it to the campaign. Uh, um, I did do that. It's actually, if I open up the spacebar menu, it's in here, and it says it's linked. Let me double check. Let me... <laughs> Becky Apples looks like a unicorn right now. Yeah. How long ago did you link it? Uh, at, while we were kind of BSing after the last campaign. Oh, okay, so yeah, it should definitely be here. Oh, hmm. there it is. Oh. It wasn't showing up on my link to... Characters list for some reason. I had to sort it. Nice. Set that player permission and... Oh, I like you. Oh, you like your little cat! <laughs> yeah, I had to get Boomer in there. Yeah, I love the Boomer. And your eyes. That looks cool. I keep trying to get Ray to make one. Oh, Dresher's looks cool, too. It was fun making them. Yeah, and the fact that you can move the arms however you want them. Yeah. Yeah. 
was... Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, and so you guys know no questions, no concerns, no. Which is fine. Um, I just wanted to double check. Is there anything that I know specifically from my s- secret? I don't know. I don't remember what the fuck I, ska- I gave you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I pinned it in our DMs. Yeah, let me let me take a quick look at it. I remember I, ga- I gave like 38 of them out at this point and... Oh, here we go. I hadn't figured yeah. out how to quite utilize mine yet. Like what circumstance? But it'll come. Gotcha. Okay, I do remember your uh, yours now. No, uh, okay. in this case, nothing jumps out at you for for that. Okay. It's like I figured. I figured because it, it sounded like I was. It was just like a basic contract where I don't know shit. It's just, you yeah. know, you're hired to do your job. So I don't yeah. know anything about Boleyn or or them, obviously, from what, other than, you know, folk tales, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so as you guys are taking your rest, uh, go ahead and everybody do the long rest again if you need to. That will bring your uh, exhaustion down to zero, so you are good to go. You are no longer exhausted. Um... And as you guys are, uh, like, doing your resting in the hut, um, everybody's kind of doing their own thing, resting, sleeping, meditating, chilling out, working on origami, what it, whatever it may be. <laughs> uh, it, it, like, amongst you, uh, you, you see, like, Valin is there, she's basically talking back and forth with the Professor Orb. Um, They're just chattering back and forth, like, uh, talking about different, like, basic spells and and the, like, the lost city of uh, of the Netherese people. Um, Just basic chit-chat. Uh, so as you guys finish up the long rest, <clears throat> you, where you had rested was at the foot of the mountain leading up here. Uh, it was the only place you could rest without too much, like, worry about being seen or followed uh the little ice method has hung around he didn't come into the the hut with you but he has been just perched outside hanging out uh he didn't nobody seems to have seen him like leave in the night he, he stu- stuck around the entire time um however rising before you is a 600 foot tall mountain of glacial ice its peak has been carved to resemble a gigantic skull wearing a crown Weaving up the mountain's southern slope are enormous stairs hewn from ice. These steps, which extend from the base of the mountain to the base of the fortress, were clearly made for giants. And this is where you guys have chosen to take up camp. You guys are at the foot of these giant stairs. <clears throat> and as you guys come out of your long rest, the, the hut ends. Um, you can see that each this staircase seems to be the only way up uh, to this fortress, and it is going to be a climb. Each step is four feet tall, uh, made entirely of ice. There's snow and frost covering them, so it's not going to be necessarily slippery, but it is going to be a long and hard trip climbing each step all the way up all the way up the entire 600 foot tall mountain. We also confirmed I don't have a slinky, right? Correct. Fuck. Damn. Everyone loves those. Until <laughs> they get all twisted and tangled up. So you guys uh, planning on heading out as as you guys finish your, your rest, um, 
you see that at the top of this place you see a giant bird like spread its wings wide and begin to flap like the the flapping is so heavy that you can hear it all the way down here as uh orla and her rock begin to lift off and start casting her nightly spell in the direction of the spine of the world from here yes. so you guys have all night in order you know as far as you can tell before she'll be back I hate birds. <clears throat> Just gonna throw that out there. Um, Good thing she'll be gone then. I also hate birds. I, I I'm like telling you, I'm expecting birds. a FaceTime <laughs> with you f just fighting this fucking bird in the front yard. That's like that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, it's gonna it's gonna funny. happen. I I, and I want to see it. <laughs> that bird is it's going down. It they go back one and time. forth. It threatens <laughs> that, me all the time. That poor bird's probably like, I made a friend. Devil's over here, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to catch these hands? <laughs> you ain't shit. Your mama wasn't shit. <laughs> Your baby birds aren't going to be shit. The bird's like, every time I squawk, he squawks too. <laughs> and he's over here fucking getting angry. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, we're going in. Well, Let's do it. YOLO. Wait, is there? Oh, I don't we, know about YOLO. That our, didn't work out so well for us last time. Or, well, we've not lost for us, for our some of us. Um, wizard that has a little friend that could seek things out. We, yes, we currently we don't have a crab. Yeah. yeah. Um, They're currently sleeping longer than intended. And I don't have anything that could do anything either. I don't think. Screw it. No. I open the door. Oh All my right. god. What about there's, him, right? Um, is there a treasure chest in there with wait, lots wait, of goodies wait, wait, in wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. Before we, we enter, can I please summon my uh, cannon? Yes, you can. Said, um, we are going to do, uh, we'll do another range one. Uh, I forget what it's called. My sword hungers. Gotcha. Are the you ballista. doing a small or tiny? We are going to do a small, because I like it being able to move without me. Cool. Uh, so as you guys get closer to get ready to open the door, you see the steps in front of a double door that are made up from slabs of ice with dragon skulls and bones embedded into them. Carved cool. into the lintel is a single word in the dwarvish script. Who the, the dwarvish? Uh, speak dwarven. Dwarven. No. Negative. No. Nope. I, uh, do they speak undercommon, Minotaur? Is that like, or... is dwarven related to Aquan and or Minotaur? It is <laughs> not. Then no. That's a hard pass for me. Okay. Is there is there a similarity between that and Elvish? No. Okay. Uh. Oh man, I the one person who can cast a spell that uh, lets him read everything isn't here either. I know. <laughs> wow. Well, when he's, at, when he's still... useful, he's not going to be here. <laughs> All right. So I still have that gauntlet that we're going to use on him later. So just I'm just throwing it out there. Um. Wait, 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 what is... Never mind. That doesn't do anything. Um... Question. Is there any way through my secret that I could speak with someone that might understand Orvish? Let me take a look at your secret. No, no, <laughs> that, that don't so touch weird. him there. Yeah. <laughs> that is, is no no square. I was just going to say that. 
Thank you. Let me see, let me see your secret. <laughs> I, I'm trying not to put the the entirety of the details out. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. And you can if you want to. Like my secret yeah. is owl bears love me. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's such a terrible <laughs> secret to have. Yeah. <laughs> I ate, people, to Ollie. Uh, I ate people on the ship, so, yeah, there's that. Mm. I did do oh, a yeah, little bit of research. Mm. Do you think the bird has laid eggs anywhere that we <laughs> can steal and make an omelet? Are you talking about the bird that fights a devil or the bird in the game? Both. <laughs> Maybe <Yes>. both. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, if I you're feeling devil... peckish, you always <laughs> pictured... have a supply then. <laughs> I picture devil leaving for like hours on end, coming back <laughs> with like leaves and twigs and shit in his hair. I fucking found him. He opens his hand. He has like eggs in there. <laughs> All he has to do is open the back door. As soon as he opens the back door, it's like the bird hears it and goes, oh, this motherfucker's here. Yeah. And then he starts, he starts like flying around. Like if the cat's out there, me and the cat are out there, it doesn't give a shit. Devil's out there. Oh, no. Nah. We're going to do this. Go time. <laughs> Uh, do you know what you was the wrong it? neighborhood homes and you hear a snapping? <laughs> I you took just... a look at your your secret. No, that's in that case <laughs> oh. it's not relevant. Okay. Oh, I'll that's just... not nice to say to him straight to his face. <laughs> I, just, I, <laughs> I I know some of the characteristics of his secret. A portion of my secret, and I know that the languages are a part of it. So I didn't know if there was any way. So that's why I ask. There's no secrets here. It's Pride Month. Yeah. Huh. Wait. Oh, it is still June, isn't it? Yeah, so mm. it's 20th. Do you, do you know what you should do, Devil, though? You should steal those eggs and then raise, like, hatch them and then raise those baby birds where you're the sure. mama. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then teach it to attack its mother. Is that too mean? Is that mean? I picture Devil having to mama bird the little birds and, oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah. I think it has to do with something in the universe because he told me, I want to say like a year ago, that one day all he wants to do is punch a bird in the face. I don't know why <laughs> he wants to punch oh, a bird in let, the face. That's, that, that makes me sound like a monster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I said I want to punch a bird out of the air. <laughs> Totally that's not monster fair. because that sounds so much yeah, better. That's fair. That is what you said. That is that requires a lot more luck and skill on my part to be able to punch a bird out of the air. Like, how many times have you been close enough to a bird flying that you can punch it while it's flying past you? Well, it it's sounds like you're gonna have plenty of happen. opportunities this summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, apparently. Well, I have caught a couple of chickens while airborne. Did you nah, they have to be sky? flying, like, uh, normally I mean, flying birds. I'm not just going to, like, punch a flamingo as it hops. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of a sudden we see a news flash on the fucking CNN or something, like, saying, man enters the zoo <laughs> to punch yeah, a flamingo. Some fucking know him. I know him. In, the, in the zoo exhibit <laughs> has, like, hopped up to me, and I'm like, oh, papa, right in the face. <laughs> Oh, man gets in fight with ostrich. You ain't got them happy feet now, do you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> That's penguins. That's oh. penguins. Just... It doesn't matter. And then you should send that video into, like, Steve Earn's kids. And be like, this is my audition tape to be on your show. No? Okay. <laughs> I think I if he liked the Jaguars, he would, uh, he would do something like that. But he doesn't. Uh, do you not like jaguars, or you you just dream about them? I I had one dream in my life about a <laughs> fucking jaguar. Really? Same exact roll. What are you rolling? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just see if I die from opening <clears throat> the door. Why can't? Like this is being weird. 
God damn it. Oh, now, uh... Now having memory flashbacks of this, uh... This is SCP podcast I listened to, and they did an April Fool's Day joke one year. And they did a couple of short, uh, like, JSCPs, and one of them was about the science of punching sharks. Oh. Because that's supposed to get them to, like, back off, right? If you punch them in the nose? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to be, but go for the eyes. Mm, that's not what Shark Week teaches me. No, Shark Week does not teach you to punch them, because you will never have... Okay, imagine oh. when you were back in water polo, uh -huh. and if you were underwater, uh -huh. and Which you tried you to punch someone, uh -huh. is that going to work? No, that's no. why you pee on each other. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't punch anybody. You're not gonna get enough. You're not gonna get enough force underwater to punch a shark in the nose to do anything. I thought we were talking about prison. It's Shark Week. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I heard ping on each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you bust open that door. It is it, it is unlocked. It is a little tough to open it, be, just because of the ice and frost that have uh, formed over the door. But you are managed to force it open. And inside you see a long rectangular room that is strewn with pieces of rotting wood and rusted metal. The remnants of giant weapons and giant racks. A rusted out helmet sized for a giant lies near the back wall of this room. Oh crap, I'm going to need that, aren't I? Wait, so where's this helmet? It, there's just... It's not on. It's just like an old rusted out giant's helmet. So it's about like six feet tall. Um, old. It's fallen apart. It, the, there's like holes in it from just being left out in the moisture and, and snow for however long it's been here. Where is that? Like, it's not actually on the map, I'm guessing, then? Or am no, I just no. not? Okay. No, I don't have a prop for a six-foot-tall helmet, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I agree. What do you agree with? Said he should. Oh. <laughs> um, can, like... We like sense anything. Does my does my person have any special like abilities with sniffing? Can I yeah. sniff things? <laughs> I don't like I mean, the you color can, red, but you, you can like sniff things red. just as well as everybody else. And the barbarians don't smell too great, so. <laughs> well, maybe I like that musky smell. You don't know me. That's fair. Hmm. Uh, at the end of this, like, entrance hallway, there is another set of double doors there, and then leading further in, you can see more doors. More door. Okay. Oh, that's what I was rewatching. Um, let's see here. And we can't hear anything, or... No. Okay. Um, I want to cautiously open uh, this door. That this door? one. But I want to like get ready to attack. Um, with my pew pew pistol. Should anything okay. pop out at me? Um, yeah, but cautiously. Alright, so you, you force that door open, and it looks like it's another long rectangular room. Um, this is just full of old wood and metal that has just fallen apart from ages of disuse. Uh, you don't see anything in here that is threatening or valuable. problematic. Or valuable. Val okay. You guys uh, gonna come in? You uh... I was just about to ask, are the rest of us still waiting outside, or...? 
I don't know, I'll eh? Be tagging along. I'm following. If you want to follow, you can st follow. We're following the leader. The leader. Okay. I'm going to open the door I'm next to. All right. Where is everybody? Because I found out I can right click oh. and tell it to open doors. Oh, shit balls. I, I, I got it. I don't know I if that prompts there. anything on your screen, but it it's pretty cool it, it that does. I can do that. All right, where where do you need to be? Uh, that's okay. fine. That's fine. All right. I uh, am the tankiest of tanks, so why not? That's true. So and as you open this door, what you see is a withered old frost giant leaning heavily on a great axe, sitting in front of the tall door in the far wall. The giant wooden stool upon which he sits creaks under his weight as he stares at you with cloudy eyes. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Initiative. Uh, in a moment, I will have you guys roll initiative. Oops. And Too late. Is... <laughs> I did it too. Where did my right as she go? said too late. <laughs> Alright, everybody go ahead and roll initiative. I rolled a 14. Alright. Two. To get it out of the way right now, I guess. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, we're not doing Total so hot on the initiative rolls. Total of five. <laughs> Okay, and you got six. Oh, of course it's not gonna fucking put Jen's checks in here. Sorry, sorry. It's not your fault. This one, this one's not not on you. It still has the old character name, so it's not like seeing that you're oh. rolling. All right. Real hard to find your guys' characters in this uh, hallway here. Oops. Move myself a little bit further forward for you so you can see me better. Yeah, missing anybody there. I don't just open a door, I step in. That's fair. Make an entrance. All right. Uh, so as you enter this room uh, and you, you speak up, you see this frost giant stand up slowly. He's he's obviously very old. Um, his, he's lost a lot of muscle mass, but he hefts up this, this big <laughs> axe. Uh, he's almost straining to hold it at this point. And in like a deep booming voice he steps forward just a little bit and and says you know <clears throat> death we meet at last okay well he's not gonna back down from a fight got it i mean if he wants a quick death he can just you know let us kill him but you know whatever while i may bring death I do not ride on a pale horse. Oh, shit. And he, as he's looking, he's looking around and he, like, looks in your direction, but you can almost tell that he, he's having a hard time seeing you. Mm. You can see from, like, the milky whites of his eyes that he's probably 
mostly blind. And he, he goes to take a few steps forward, uh, but he can't move very far. And that's Poor all thing. he can do. I love the extra effect of the whole building shaking when he steps. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Slopez, it is your turn. So, he does want to fight, though, right? Oh, yeah. He's, he wants he's a hero's end. Huh. I mean, you can pay for that at the massage parlor. Or so I've been told. Uh, so we're, when we're in this initiative mode, does that lock us where we at until it's our turn? Yes. Yep. Right. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if I accidentally clicked on something and okay, so made me unable. Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Where the <laughs> fuck? I <laughs> got a shit. I got, I got you. <coughs> Teleport. Here, I'll, uh... There we go. <laughs> Just fucking throw me back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, I guess I'll move here. And, um... So he doesn't want... Like, I can't talk to him at all? Like, I just have to punch the shit out of him? You can try to talk to him. Hey, man. Um... I don't know uh, who this uh, death person is, but uh, before we get this going, what what what's up? How's, the, how's the wife and the them? <laughs> I didn't bring a black couch with me. I mean, I guess I could. Oh my God. Uh, and like you, so you come in close to him and start like talking, and he starts swinging wildly, like not actually aiming at you. He he can yeah. barely see, you. and it's not his turn, so he can't actually make an attack. Mm -hmm. Uh. And he says that, like, he, he says that he won't let anybody, uh, he, anybody infiltrate his, his mistress's home, uh, and he will fight with honor. Uh, mistress. we're just here for a book. Uh, is that going to be, like, a problem? But is he said, he looking he... for a new mistress? <laughs> 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 if so, enough, Rusty enough has this horse. <laughs> True. <laughs> he apples a single. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> he doesn't seem too interested in like talking it out. Oh, okay, fine. I'm just gonna punch the shit out of him. All right, we're just gonna. I was trying not to do this because he's blind and like I. That would be the equivalent of me fighting Stevie Wonder, but. Uh, <laughs> hey, we can't. We can't discriminate. You've done I mean, a lot. In that case, I I kind of want to because he's blind. <laughs> like that's fucked up. <laughs> If Stevie Wonder was 25 feet tall and holding an axe, I wouldn't have a problem punching him in the dick. <laughs> I mean, I would, he's I would because, like, he's probably not going to hit him with the axe. All I could do is gently move to the side of him and be like, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tire himself out eventually. You did give him a better chance than we did uh, that guy's son. So. Hear me out, though. That guy's son had it coming because oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, I he forgot did. why. But the uh, door got he... kicked open, and all you were like, Jennifer, go! I was like, K, punch! And that's, all, that's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know. He was involved in the Drea incident. That's yeah, what it was. Yep. yeah. I was like, nobody hurts my sister-in-law. And then, punch my punch. <laughs> so, okay, got it. All right, well, I guess I'll just roll for fucking uh, my text. Uh, I'm going to do Draconic Strike with uh, Flaming Fists. Uh, first one is a no fucking way. It's a ten. <laughs> a ten, you say? Yeah, I probably missed. I rolled a fucking uh, two, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a miss. Yeah, go figure. Uh, next one is a ten. Oh, twenty-two. That's a hit. Cool. Uh, with the damage of a ten. Eleven. <laughs> Ooh, close. And then. Oh. Uh, my bonus action would just be a regular unarmed strike. So that's 11 points of uh, fire fist. <laughs> okay. Too bad I don't hit anybody with my crotch. I could fire crotch him. <laughs> That'd be so much Red better. For that. Uh, 22. That's also a hit. And uh, 10. So Give him a burning crotch control. and then prescribe him a cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Esh, it is your turn. All right. Well, since the battle has already commenced, I expected it to. Why do I feel attacked? 
I'm going to run and slide under his legs because he's a giant, right? Yep. I can get behind him. That's close enough. And I'm going to roll both my chance for hits. Okay. Ten. <laughs> to miss. And a nine! Woo, that's also a miss. Dang, guys, this giant so is like... Really well, at least now you're behind him. <laughs> Wait, well, should I have rolled for advantage since oh, I was behind you him? You know what? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll say that that was one roll with advantage because now you're... I'll call this flanked. It's technically not, but it is close enough for a blind giant. Um, so go ahead and roll one more with advantage. In front of him is enough for a flank. He can't fucking see you. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Oof. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> That's also a miss. That's okay. We're getting rid of the shitty rolls with fucking... Right. Uh... I still did an epic slide between his legs, okay? Yeah. What did you see? What did you see? Uh, <laughs> straight up, straight up Ken doll. I've He's seen worth. Fenty, I've you're seen up. Worth. I've seen worse. Was he like an in or something? Um, <laughs> I can pretty much only move about here. Let's say the cold has not been kind. Oh. Well, then let me... Uh... I can relate. <laughs> let me give you your little turret guy there. Isn't it warm where you're at? <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gave you your little turret guy. Thank you. And I'll just ready in action. If something else should pop up, I will fire at them in this hallway. All right. <clears throat> uh, Valinus, your turn. Oh, alrighty. I. Oops. Hold on. These sliders keep moving on their own. All right. <clears throat> I yeah, they do that. Even when you this... lock them. Yeah. I'm going to sneak right up in front of this guy. Not like he's going to know. All right. So all of your attacks will be rolled with advantage. Okay. And I'm just going to roll both my chances for hit. Right Are you going to do anything else before you do that? Like get enraged? Yeah, I didn't. But No, <laughs> I think I'm going to I think I'm going to save it. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll your uh Things with advantage. Nineteen. Nineteen is a hit. Twenty-one. Uh, Twenty-one is a hit. <clears throat> uh, all right. Both my attacks are going to be with my my great axe, since now I'm within. Excuse me. Now I'm with an, uh, melee damage. I'm just going to start swinging away. Uh, total of 10 on the first swing. Okay. And 6 on the second swing. Gotcha. And then you double checking. I'm going to make sure you got rage. You got... <laughs> Plus two melee damage per each one. Oh no, you're not enraged. I didn't. I didn't go into rage. You're right. You're no, right. You're right. Not yet. That I'm was. Uh, I it. was double checking and then I forgot. Yeah, it's all good. All right. Uh, Rusty. Rusty. Rusty Shackleford. Uh. Is that your uh, last name? Uh yeah yeah that's my last name. <laughs> yes. I I am Rusty Shackleford. Uh, so fancy. Where am I? Oh, here. Uh, that's not a straight line. Okay. Well, we're gonna go. <sighs> Oof. I feel like if I line up, we're just asking for some sort of giant swing. Cleave. Trouble. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? Uh, yeah. I'm sadly most of us. I think are melee now, right? I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go right there. And come on, Becky. Oh god. 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 Just like <gasps> Becky, no! <laughs> Did you lose Becky apples? I lost 
<laughs> I'm not giving her back. I just want <laughs> to have to learn to teleport things. <laughs> I'm just going to say something. Uh, this game's racist against animals. so. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> First me, now Becky. Good learn luck, Jen. Teleport. It's because this is a multi leveled. Uh... Marketing scheme, we get yes. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. All you got to do is recruit three other people, and then you can get a brand new uh, car like mine. Oh, man. I. Trust me, I know how that works. I went to an... I I, I almost sold Cutco knives once. <laughs> the easiest anyway. thing to sell is the Ronco ovens. Because you just set it and forget it. As, you know, you're not wrong. I know, I know. Ronco was a... He, he was a genius. He was uh, well before his time. Okay. Go on, uh, Rusty. Uh, Rusty Miss Shackleford, if you're nasty. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stick with okay. Rusty. I yeah, it, it's. I've been watching uh, Watch McCall for the first time. What's it called? King of the Hill. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. Yeah, yeah, King of the Hill. And one of the guys' code names is Rusty Shackleford. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna swing great sword, crystal great sword at the giant. Oh wow! What the fuck? Yeah, you guys are rolling like absolute dog shit. Okay, hold on. Hey. Oh, Jesus. I, might I did really for, good. Yeah, except for you. You're the only one who's <laughs> rolled. Okay. Well, no, that's not true. Uh, Z rolled pretty good, too. There we go. Nat 20. Oh, there we go. Let's go. I was going to say, Nat it's a good thing we're getting the, these fucking rolls out of the way now with somebody's Jesus. blind. Uh, <laughs> so that's an automatic. So I need to click this roll. A flat roll, right? Flat roll. Flat roll. So let me do my. Hold on. Yeah, you do your thing. I'm gonna have to re-roll some. Yeah, you're fine. Wait, yeah, let's I hope think... that let's hope it all plays out like that. Cause I really I really don't want to go to work tomorrow morning and tell everybody that I got taken out by a blind frost giant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lucky swing. Um, I put flat roll, but it did it anyway, so I'm gonna have to do it manually. Yeah, that's fine. Just just roll it again. Like, I was gonna say, damage again. Just conveniently leave out the fact that it was blind. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Uh, there you go. Okay, so a 12. Okay. And then whatever else, what the, the max roll. Yep. And then I'm going to uh, Divine Smite. Um, 2d8 plus... Oh, just 2d8. Uh, da, 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 da. Right? Yeah. 2... Uh, you don't even need to roll it. That's more than enough to take him out. out oh. Oh. Well, I rolled 13. Yeah, the max damage after, like, once you said you were going to Divine Smite was enough to to take him down. Poor guy. We gave him his hero's end. <laughs> Not my face. <sighs> yeah, he, he stumbles backwards. You have run him through he hits the ground like the snow below him the white snow begins to like huddle and turn red in a in a circle around him he like has this last gasp and death rattle and dies with a smile on his face yep hey finally this axe is uh, getting so heavy can, can, can we loot the body uh yes, I want to know got, what's in this door that he's been that he was guarding. He's got a big fat, giant sized axe. Oh. Um. I wanna I wanna loot whatever is inside this closet back here that he was guarding. Okay. So. Uh. Valinus, uh, as you guys are going through the, the body there, goes in and pops open that door. And oh, you see a dang. load of treasure just piled in here. Like $2. <laughs> <laughs> I can get a tank of gas. I was just going to say, I can, buy, I can finally buy a full tank of gas. All right, guys, I'm going to retire. Sweet. Good luck with the rest of this mission. Sorry. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's kind of like the scene in uh, Ninja Turtles when uh, they're watching the TV and Michelangelo's chewing on the... <laughs> yeah. 
All right. So, uh, as you guys start going through this, uh, you see who's going to write this down. You okay there? Um, Wait, what are we I writing have, down? I have paper, but I don't have a pen handy, so... I got a pen. All right, I'll use my pen and your paper. Let's go. What are we writing <laughs> down? <laughs> I shall write it down. I shall write it down in my notebook. That you just conveniently happen to have? Hand it down, Notebook! Please tell, me it, please tell me it's a notebook with a blue crayon. No, it, it's it's an iPad and an iPad pencil. Ah. <laughs> but the iPad pencil looks like a rocket ship. So Ooh, that is, is true. it really? Yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'd buy that. I would just buy the pencil. Like I wouldn't. They're gonna make. <laughs> you have an iPad? No, just the pencil. Okay. What am I writing down? All right. As you guys are are sifting through this, um, there's a lot of stuff here. You've got. You find one thousand three hundred and fifty gold. A. Hey. Okay. 4,400 silver pieces. 4,400? Uh-huh. Okay. 7,800 copper pieces. Okay. Four gold rings sized for giants. Necklaces. No, I was going to say necklaces. Uh, <laughs> or collars. I'm not going to hang on, I'm hang on your kink. This, so I'm just going to give you the, the price of them. Uh, each of those are worth 150 gold pieces. <clears throat> a There's a giant-sized shield made out of d white dragon scales. Ooh, um, ooh. It is no <laughs> way too massive for you guys to take. I was just going to say, I bet we can't wielding. even take it. Uh -oh. A two-foot-tall, 50-pound chipped statue of... Looks Bob like Ross? a. It, you can't. Does uh, any. Nobody knows exactly. Uh, two foot tall. Is it a Pringles container? Inches? Two foot tall, 50 pound, 50 pound. chipped statuette made entirely of ice that does not melt. Ooh. Ooh I have a bag of holding, cool. by the way. I was going to say, yeah, because this is a lot of stuff to put in someone's prison wallet. We're all going to be walking and you're going to hear some change rattling around. <laughs> it is worth 50 gold pieces. That's it? Yes. It's chipped. <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's no longer in pristine condition. Yeah, he's but already... it, doesn't, it doesn't melt. Talk about an he, ice pack he, for life. Yeah, he's already <laughs> used a bit of it to make a drink. But how hard are, is that going to be to sell? This ice doesn't melt. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard and sell. A ceramic jug Ooh. that has a magical aura. Uh, oh, oh we and have to... the fucking dude that uh, can help detect this shit is gone. I can identify. Oh, can you? Mm hmm. A. Good, because I was about to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to cast identify or? Can I? Oh, it's uh, just a minute. It's just a minute. Yeah, it's a one minute I'm spell. Gonna, I'm gonna <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to cast identify. All right. So you take the minute to cast the spell. Uh, this is an item called an alchemy jug. I will put a link to it here in a moment. You can use an action and name one liquid from the table below to cause the jug to produce the chosen liquid. Uh, afterwards, you can uncork the jug as an action and pour that liquid out up to two gallons per minute. The maximum amount of liquid it can produce depends on the liquid you name. Once it starts producing a liquid, it cannot produce a different one or more of that until it's until the next dawn. Cool. So healing potions uh, all around? No. So there's Darn. a there's a list. Fucking acid. Uh, I don't see no list. You can make acid. Hmm. Poison. Trippy. Beer. Ice. 
Mm. Beer! Ooh. Honey. Two Take gallons of mayonnaise. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait. Hold on. Go back to the... That, what was it? <laughs> Two gallons of mayonnaise a day. <laughs> That's what I thought I heard. Okay. <laughs> That's because why not? Vinegar. Gross. Fresh water. Salt water. Here? We can open up a fucking wine. subway. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last one? Wine. wine. Okay. And there's the... Uh, yeah, I know. It's got the thing in it. Yeah, you can make two gallons of mayonnaise a day if anybody gets hungry. <laughs> Down. Who has spoons? No, we don't need spoons when you <laughs> have orgong. Driving now. <laughs> uh, but yes, it uh, it can make all sorts of stuff, including poison. We can make up to twelve gallons of water. Nice. Salt water. We can make half an ounce of basic poison. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. salt water, fresh water. I see it now. Eight ounces of acid, which is just spicy poison. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you had me at beer, so... Four <laughs> you, gallons. Had at, you had me at mayonnaise. Don't forget, Jennifer Lopez has a, uh, has a fucking... Oh, I got a hat. dart, too. Oh, that's right, I can put the mayonnaise on the dart. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's where we were going with this. That'll kill anybody faster than, you know, an acid, an acid dart is a mayo dart. Okay, first of all, I don't want to get acid on my fingers, okay? If I get mayonnaise <laughs> on my fingers, that's fine. <laughs> you, just, you just dip the dart in the acid. That's still really close to my fingers. <laughs> Dear God. <clears throat> we are terrible, fat human beings. That we're that excited about mayo. I hate mayo. Uh, same, actually. It's right yeah. up there with it's right up there me, with mustard. Me too. Oh, I gotta I go mustard. get rid of this sandwich. It has nothing to do with this conversation. <laughs> I was gonna make a lube joke about the mayonnaise, but then I I couldn't even stomach it. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all right. We're gonna make Touché. mayonnaise later, and I'm gonna spend the entire campaign slapping it. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, man. We don't judge here, okay? Face. Excellent. Excellent. Um, a question, Iron D? Yeah? About my tinkering skill. Uh-huh. I can only What can tinker... she make with mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> I can only tinker three things, right? Um, or... let me take a look. Magical tinkering. Sorry, excuse me. I feel gross. You got... <laughs> Right, you can only tinker mm. three things at a time. Um, these are basic, mundane, like... You can make, like, a torch, or... Is that, like, per long rest? Um... Yes? <laughs> no, no. It's, you can only have three of these at any given time. You can, like... Okay. It lasts indefinitely or until you choose to touch the object and say you want it to end the end it. Okay. So you gave me the bag of holding a scale like a You're you're that's that's different. Um okay. the tink the magical tinkering is like uh you can use so you can create an object that sheds bright light in a five foot radius. Uh, you can create a, um, basically a tape recorder. Uh, you can okay. make an object continuously emit your choice of an odor or nonverbal sound. So a white noise machine, basically. We can hide it in the mayonnaise. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you're thinking of what you're the looking infusions? for is. Yes, the infusions. And those are the things that you already gave me. Yes, I gave you those, uh, and you can find those in what are infusions? Your inventory, and then infusions. It's something that uh, that artificers get. They can basically replicate magical items. Yeah. So uh, my okay. bag of holding is something that I created. Yeah. Okay. So and I those are the things that you like... gave me, though, right? So I have to mark those off. Correct. On my little thingy. Okay. Until I mean, you unmake those, and then you can choose something else. 
question. Sure. I, am I, I mean, obviously we don't know, but am I, since this will be, since I'm not going to be here, can I give my bag of holding to Rusty to put into her stomach or wherever she wants to put it, you know? I'm not going to tell her what she does with her body, but can I give it to her and it will still be a bag of holding? It should be. I, it looks like with these, it, there's no like time limit on them. Unless I actually die. So unless you die or just tell it to stop being a magic item. Okay. Okay. Sorry. That was like the, my actual question, but then I had 50 gotcha. bajillion prior questions. Okay. I'm good. I think. All right. So, yeah, you guys are fully loot that room, and then you're good in in there. What are you going to do next? Next room? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to come down to this next room, and I want to just go ahead and YOLO it and kick this door wide open. All right. Oh, that's cute. I love that yeah. pen. It, 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 like it's just like a little like sleeve it was like seven bucks <laughs> uh as you kick this door open you see that frost covers a bloated trestle table that stands amidst rotting barrels and casks in the middle of what used to be a kitchen storage racks along the walls have collapsed into piles of rotting timber along with jugs tankards and drinking horns that once rested on them a roasting spit lined with icicles is mounted above a 10 foot diameter iron brazier coated with rime and situated near the back wall. Looks like just an old, defunct kitchen. That was less dramatic than I was hoping for, but okay. At least, at least I'm still alive. Teleport. I teleport. I don't remember you... how to teleport. Shift. You know that. Can you cancel my action to open that door that you opened? Wee! Thank you. How do you, how do you teleport? I wasn't paying attention because I was watching. Shift. Born? I found a staircase. Yeah, Does shift this... and then and click your character. And then you can Got click it. wherever you want it to go. Oh, cool. So yeah, you as you uh, start heading, you see two staircases. Yes, I saw uh, that one going down, and then I see this one going up. Yeah, you've got one going down and one going up. Um, Sounds like a good night to me. So as you <laughs> as you pass the first, or as you as you enter this into the room that uh, you guys just walked into. In the middle of this immense hall stands a 30-foot-long, 10-foot-wide, 10-foot-high dining table carved from ice and surrounded by dozens of blocks of ice that once served as chairs. Wooden braces against the west wall hold a pair of 14-foot-long bugles made from hollowed-out mammoth tusks. Oh my God. The ascending staircase of ice in the southwest corner has mist rolling down it. Mist? Mist. We can... We can make a band. You guys can play the bugles I got my work <laughs> on. We no longer have to... Oh my god, I'm so excited. Anything valuable? Anything? Can I shove those um, mammoth heads into my bag of mammoth, holding? It's a bugle. It's a mammoth tusk. Um, tusk thing. You those probably chips that you could. put in your fingers and you turn into like Wolverine? There, one of them's broken, but one of them is intact. I want it. All right. Yeah, you're you kind of like Mary Poppins that thing into your bag of holding, sliding it in the uh, bag. Harder. Moans a what? little bit. Um. Uh. What? Sorry. <laughs> Keep talking, devil. I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right, Bobby, right. Could you please add that to your list? And do. Thank you, thank you. Because this hey, bag uh, is going to you afterwards. Oh, well, grazie, grazie. A, uh, it was a, a bugle horn? Is that what a you said? A bugle made of mammoth tusk. 14 feet long. 
<laughs> and you're gonna can, shove that wherever you shove it. Can I tinker with it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> And then in the other direction, you can, through a, a door, see there's leading down. Do we want to go up or do we want to go down? Up is misty. Well, based on previous experience, I have learned that it's not a good idea to split the party. Correct. So, like, upwards, we know, like, that's... <clears throat> Obviously, leading up to where the bird was and where she left. Um, where she lives. Yeah, I kind of want to check the, the the down the descending staircase first. Do we know anything about the downwards other than it just leads down? Like anything coming from it? Any smell? Any noises? Um, well, you guys come in. So. If you're going to look into that room where the downward staircase is, uh, you peek in and you see six slender gargoyle-like creatures made of squat ice are perched on ledges 20 feet above the ground that protrude from the walls of this semicircular chamber. Like Near the back wall, the mist that blankets the floor flows down a staircase made of polished ice. Hmm. What you what you see up in in this place are, you recognize them from the creature that was outside. These are uh, six methods, ice methods. Oh, I wonder if they know the one from outside. <laughs> um, since we obviously know that this is like a giant's fortress or an old giant's fortress, does anybody have any knowledge like? With like prior knowledge about giants that would help us maybe figure out the layout of this area or the history of this place. Uh, I do not. Do not. I do. Of course you do. So then <laughs> Mr. I'm gonna Fancy ask the, Pants DM over I'm gonna, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the DM, what kind of knowledge do you have that? Worth <laughs> 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 the shot. All I know is I um, I want to end the one that has made residence here. I'm actually compelled to do so. So we're not going to going to explore the crazy creepy frozen basement. I have a question for the DM in private. Huh. I also have a question about the DM's privates. <laughs> so the question is, do we want to go upstairs to the pleasure palace or downstairs to the sex dungeon? I mean, Ooh, I mean choices. does this still have to do with the DM's private? <laughs> <laughs> Just clarifying. <laughs> I mean, you, you know my answer, so... I don't know about everybody else. Uh, well, I would like to explore the sex dungeon. I'm typing. He's not paying attention. He's not that he's not doing anything. Oh no, they're they're doing yeah. a yeah. <laughs> they're doing a thing. I think. Uh, Conversation in one's head. All right, sorry about that. Um, okay. So you guys are going down. You said, right? Is that what you said? I. Uh, that's the direction I, I want to go, but I don't think okay. we have decided as a party yet. Gotcha. Anywhere's fine with me. Yeah, I mean the book could be in the basement if we haven't found it already. I, I. I that might be a good place to hide it. Did the did the giant say anything that would make us to, to he he didn't really say anything about like or we didn't really ask where the book was. It was just kinda like uh oh, yeah. oh, don't hurt my don't hurt my bitch and we were like ah and we right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You pretty much yeah. 
Yeah, the he last thing he him. said was, ah, and then that was it. Yeah, gotcha. Hey. So, I guess we're going I'm cool downstairs. with downstairs. All right, sex dungeon it is. I, I don't know where my character is because I lost him, <laughs> and I didn't want to bring it up, but I couldn't find him, and I'm going to get yelled at. Uh -huh. Recording the sex dungeon. I get to lick the spoon. Here, I'll, uh... I'll drag everybody down, Don't starting the with the... Uh... What the fuck is that? Ooh, it's a fancy door it's in the back, walls? you see that? There's a fancy door back there. Look! It's a walrus! I like walruses. Oh man, I would... I would everybody name it here. if... I, no. I, I, awkward man. <gasps> Who's this? Somebody's still up there. Oh, owl lady. <gasps> oh, and I gotta grab my turret. My bad. my bad. Or did somebody grab it? Uh, I think I brought it down already. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck's growling? It, it was dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was burping. Excuse I was like, me. I was like, yeah, damn. <laughs> Usually sounds like some sort of raptor or something. That sounds amazing. God, where is it? Uh, there it is. MG. See it. See the turret. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> is the walrus a turret? No. Oh. I hear you. Does he speak Aquan? <laughs> All right. I would assume he does. The staircase descends into a vaulted chamber. A nine-foot-high railing of sculpted ice hugs the staircase as it descends to the chambered floor which, like the stairs, is smooth and gleaming. A walrus as big as an elephant is having a Ooh. grand old time rolling and sliding on the ice, paying you little heed. Oh, he's cute. He's apparently supposed to be bigger. Want to join him? That's what she said. Oh, look, he got big. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so cute. Lost somebody. Bye, uh, Josh. <laughs> he said, "Nope, not this walrus." <laughs> <laughs> like, Man, fuck walruses. I'm here. No one told me there was gonna be a walrus here. <laughs> the size of an elephant. Yeah. Are, are you playfully? <laughs> yeah, he's having fun. I mean, I'm content to sit here the rest of the night and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and th this whole room is essentially a giant. Th this whole room is essentially a giant uh, ice rink. Oh, that means bad footing. All right. So, what's the plan? Well, you're the one that speaks Aquan. Am I supposed to talk to him? Why Are you doing that, or blind... is there a script that just makes it run around on its own? It's him. No, he's doing it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, buddy, uh, what's up? Uh oh, he's getting close. <laughs> we got this. I got this. I got this. Come on. <laughs> okay, just so I can make sure we clarify who it was. What's what's uh, what's going on, buddy? You're staring uh, right at its chest. I think that's kind of weird. Uh, excuse me. His eyes are up there. I can't do anything. I'm <laughs> a turtle. Um, he's a uh, he's he like looks at you and he like he he's, he's so much more like happy go lucky than any uh, any of the guy. other things you found oh, yeah. or come across like and how funny would be in, if he wipes our party in <laughs> common uh oh, okay. he, he speaks up, up to you uh and says oh uh do i do i have new friends to play with uh, -oh. uh, uh depends yep you sure do what's uh <laughs> y'all want to go to the sex dungeon so yeah yeah you, you, you like goat ball yeah Just because he's happy go lucky doesn't mean that's a good thing for us, though. <laughs> right? What kind of play is he talking yeah. about? When he's just, uh, the size of an elephant. Yeah. Right. 
I've read of Mice and Men. Uh, yeah. yeah, what do you want to talk to him about? What do you want to ask him? Uh, what, you, what, what you doing down here? Uh, he says that he was put down here to uh, like guard this area. Oh, what you got? What you guarding? Um, he says that uh, this basically the these there's a vault down here that he's supposed to supposed to be guarding, but he's not really interested in doing that. Yeah. Is there a book in there? I, I can understand. Oh. Uh, he says he doesn't know exactly what's in there, but he knows that uh, this is where the servants of the Frost Maiden store the the treasures of their faith. And we take of a peek. their faith. Well, why don't I we would, play a game? I would like to them. remind the party about that one thing that I touched and was not good. I, your last boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the. Uh, yeah, no, the she's, thing that I made think me. I, I, she's talking about the, the orb. The, uh, or that yeah, necklace? the orb that, that burned That's her alive and. Well, turned no, her I was a actually goat. talking about like when we the were in that door the... ago. Dorgo, yeah. Torgar, uh, place. Yeah, the Fortress. one that I touched and it made me lose one of my friends. Because I got psychic damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, you took that psychic damage. Oh, yeah, you touch a lot of weird shit. Yeah, um, I do. That's probably ultimately my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Why we went down to the sex dungeon? Um... You came down here to touch Jan's ex-boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Is his name Brandon? Ew. By the way, <sighs> what is the walrus's name? Oh yeah, we never find out these people's names. It doesn't His matter. Name We're gonna kill him. Ukuma. Oh. Ukuma, Ukuma, like the bear, or like like uh, the dude from Street Fighter. Uh, almost, except a U at the beginning instead of an A. Ooh, they Ukuma. didn't want okay. copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> How do we change this? No one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we'll say it's Akuma. Uh, that's too late. Um. So. Yeah, go ahead. No, because I was going to say, like, if, he, if and this is just me speaking to the party, like, if he doesn't want to guard that, maybe we can keep him occupied and play a game with him while other people go to the vault and see what's up. Let's make expectations realistic. Like, we're not going to play this game with him forever and ever and ever. I mean, you're not. I can. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, what do you guys? He's obviously not interested in guarding it at all. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if we don't want to go, I mean, even though he's not interested in guarding it, that doesn't mean he's not going to. Like, if we walk up there, he's not just gonna fucking turn around and try to eat somebody, you know? I want to see what's down this hallway. I'll play with the walrus. What people investigate shit? Yeah, what are we playing? Does he know Go uh, Ball? <laughs> um, or Scrabble? He he's just uh happy to happy to walk around and like just follow and, us and enjoy himself. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. whoa. <laughs> so can we look around? Yeah, 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 he's he's fine with you guys. You want to watch him as he enjoys himself? Yep, no. I'm watching. <laughs> um, maybe I'll pick up some tricks. He's yeah, he's he's more than happy to let you guys look around. He says he'll even uh, like tell you where you can find anything you need. All I know is Panda's gonna be disappointed later. <laughs> can, I, can I ask him? Can I ask him if he's not interested in watching this stuff? Why is he still here? Uh, you guys think he likes the ice? Because yeah, he can't fit, he, he, he can't fit back up the stairs? Uh, he, he, no, this place is built for giants, giants, so he can get in and out. He says sometimes he leaves, sometimes he goes and uh, explores the island, town. hits the, like, into the water. A lot of times he spends time down here. There's a nice ice rink down here that he can slide around on. 
can does my, me and my turret communicate <laughs> telepathically or do i have to verbally tell it to do something i know he's a walrus but this is what i picture him like let me double check your <laughs> <laughs> That is a good question. All right, well. Um, for your Eldritch Cannon. I gotta say, it used to be really interesting to watch this channel get flooded with posts every Monday night when I'm not in the campaign because then you just mm. see all this random stuff get posted with no context <laughs> and then now that I'm actually here I'm like oh I get it now you have to it, it doesn't specifically say if it's mental or not um, I'm gonna say you have to like give it commands Okay, I'm like gonna verbal commands. I'm gonna pick up my cannon and whisper into its magical ear, <laughs> so nobody can hear us except for the cannon. Um, and I wanted to discreetly follow the walrus. Well, I mean, it can only move like fifteen feet around, so. Well, just keep it in eyesight. Sure. As my, you know, that's what that's what it's going to try to do. That's fair. But discreetly. Make it a discreet 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> so are we are, are we doing this one by one? Are we going to go into that back hallway with Josh? What are we doing? Uh. Does Belin have anything that to add to this, like, does she have any? Can she sense anything from these rooms? No, she, she like, she's pretty much uh, in the same boat you guys are. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna right. start this. Go open a door. Yeah, let's. All right. All right. So you guys start heading. Uh, to the north here and I'm sure I'm reading the right thing um, this passageway here leads to an anvil shaped room with a door set into the far wall flanking the door are bass reliefs what the fuck is a bass relief statues of two female fr <laughs> frost giants holding <laughs> green great axes is it, is it those mounted wallfish that thing but sure Cool. Uh, runes are carved into the door's surface. They are dwarven runes. Does anybody speak dwarven? No, we've Still, been through this. No. <laughs> I right. only speak Minotaur common and draconic. I, I want to learn dwarven all of a sudden. <laughs> when you punch it, if I punch him in the head hard enough, can you learn a language? Yes. Can anybody channel <laughs> Kitsune? I mean, no. If I could apply another feat, I think I could get a uh, dwarven. You already have two feats, though. I have one. <laughs> oh. But I see what you're saying. Um, can I... I have... You know, my magic tool. That's right. <laughs> um. Mm, that's for later. I mean, we're in. The, we said that we were going to the fucking sex dungeon. What you're right. You're fucking... right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tool expert. All right. <laughs> um, does this tool also? Can I make it to translate something? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You, no, you can't. I like it. Um, 
We'll dab nab it. L, screw it. Let's open the door. All right. What's Rusty trying to do? What the dog do? Um. Uh, Did you try to open something or? Attack no, I haven't. Something? I have literally done nothing. I'm just standing here by Z, looking at the walrus. And it says you uh, tried to request permission for something. I have honestly <laughs> no right. idea what that was then. As um, you, oh, oh, go, go ahead. No, nothing. Oh. As you open this door, this chamber has another door set into the far wall. Standing on either side of the door is a frost giant skeleton wielding a rusty anchor. The pinpricks of light in their eye sockets brighten as they begin to register your presence. Ha 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 ha. Battle. Go ahead and roll initiative for me. Balls. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> well, wait, are we all rolling initiative? We're just the ones that yep. were in the room. No? Okay. Everybody, yeah, everybody roll initiative. All right. Oh, hey, party mode also uh, makes the initiative tracker flash for me. I've never had that on before. Hmm. I got an 11. Alexa, stop. Alexa, don't stop. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, if you could. Uh, do do do. We gotta change Dr. Jennifer Lopez. Then. Now the question is, is the attack coming from the glowing eyes or from the walrus or both? Oh man, that would be fucking scary. All of a sudden it becomes... Oh, and that's why it's actually there. Uh, Waiting I'll take to be another triggered. Soda. Ooh, me too, please. <laughs> ginger ale, if you have it. <laughs> oh man, I haven't had ginger ale since I was playing Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. <laughs> All right, come on, Rusty. Why aren't you over here? It's your turn. I'm you're putting up first. in the dinner, and the you just told me to put dinner in the oven. Put Ooh, your woman is trying to cook you oven. a meal, and you complaining? <laughs> Remember, we have I, that I jug of even, poison. I can't even say cook a meal. It's put the Costco meal into the <laughs> oven. Out? Okay. Doing? You doing stuff? The meatloaf. Ooh, meatloaf. All right. Yep. Uh, Rusty's up first. Um. What? Where's everybody? North. They're down this. That doesn't uh, mean anything to me. I don't know my north. But this hallway direction. over here. Okay. Wait, what? The hallway to your left. Oh, behind me. Or to your right. Sorry, I was or... looking at the wrong character. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. I don't know my directions. Um. Ooh, now there's. There's a little in. compass out in the corner. It's usually what I've been going off of. Man, if only you guys had magic items that you hadn't attuned. I don't hey, know what the hell I'm doing. I've asked a couple different hat. times what mine does for me. Oh, that's 62 feet? Uh, oh, from where? Which I was at Your magical item uh, is it adds plus one to your attacks and damage. I have a hat of disguise too, huh? Yeah, you, you do. do. You guys also have a magical wand. You guys have a crossbow. Oh, you know who should get the cross? Oh, never mind. Oh, I so I get a plus one bonus to AC. That's already factored in. Yeah, this should all be factored in already. 
Uh, and saving throws while I'm wearing while I'm wearing my cloak. Okay, sweet. Well, it's a good thing I made sure my character in Hero Forge is wearing a cloak. All right. All right. Jennifer Lopez. Okay. There are two uh, frost giant skeletons guarding a door. Ew. Oh, that's all the way in the fuck over there, though, so. That is true. I, I guess I could just. Total roll! So, what exactly are we going to be fighting? I don't want to fucking go in that doorway, though. Frost giant skeletons. Okay, because I don't, I don't see anything on the map, so. They're right here. They're inside. And right there. There, there's literally nothing inside this room for me. Hold on. Oh, I'm... hold on. Let me. I got this. I'm. I made something for this. Okay. That. Okay. Thank you for stop strobing. <laughs> okay. Do you see them now? Yes. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had. I wasn't sure if I had the little map slider set in the wrong spot, and they were just outside of. <sighs> Line of sight is really stupid um, yeah. in this game where if your character can't physically see them, even though everybody else can. He's you standing can't see right them. in front of the doorway, though. Yeah, it's it's weird. It doesn't load all the time for everybody. There's times oh. when it doesn't load yeah, show you have to, like, until you literally click on something yeah. or yeah. Oh, walk okay. into somewhere. That's why I created the line of sight goblin to uh, put in rooms so you guys can see shit. All right. Uh, so Jennifer Lopez, you are, I guess, you said you're moving? Nah, I'm gonna stay here. There's really nothing for me. There's no point in me fucking... By the time I get there, everything's gonna be dead. Not are you sure? They're He's frost playing giants. with the, his walrus friend. Yeah, I'm playing with my walrus. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, in that case... That's what I call it because it's short and stubby. <laughs> All right, Your I... turn's next. I'm going to sneak inside of the room here. Oh, I gotta zoom out a little bit. Okay. Let me get myself within. Uh, oh, he's got a, like a long. They stabby, both have stabby long stick. stabby things. Long stabby stabby stick. Okay, so if I actually, if I can get really close to him, get inside of his reach. Technically, they're they're wielding uh, anchors. I just don't have the. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. You said that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna move right up, right up in front of them, and I'm gonna take a couple of big swings with my axe. All right. Uh, let's see, does an 18 hit? <laughs> that. Let me double check. It's. Trying to hide this shit from me. Yes, it does hit. Okay, so that that was my first. Oh, oh super super leg. Wow, a nat one. Oof. Plus seven gives me an eight, so my second attack is gonna miss. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, the the D and D Beyond browser just got super laggy. All right, so. Roll for damage. On the first hit, it's going to be eight. And then, since my second one's going to miss, I'm not even going to roll for damage. All right. Fenrir, your turn. Fenrir? Or Fen me? I've heard it both ways. Heard that before. Um, so sorry. Um, my turret's stuck down there for now. I'm not going to tell it to move. Uh, I'm just going to say guard the other entrance because it can only uh, move 15 feet at a time. Um, I will move it though to where it's a little bit more in line of sight or it's going to be making its way two line of sight in both areas um i move here i have eye of sight for this guy nobody's in my way right that i can see there's nobody hidden you can see no 
Okay. I am going to do... What do I want to do? I'm going to do... With this one that I was just reading about... I'm going to do a Scorching Ray. All right. And that's three beams. And I think I have to do each attack for each one, correct? Yeah. Or, okay. Uh, one. I believe so. Two. Three. Or, I, oh gosh, I hope I didn't just make it do like nine. <laughs> <laughs> So the first one is 26. That's a hit. Oh god. Second one's 27. That's a hit. Twenty-three. And that's that a hit. Rough. Okay. Um now damages one, two, three. First one's ten. Second one is three. All right. Uh, third one's 11. All right. So yeah, it takes, they each take, or not each, it, the each uh, each scorching ray like beams right into this skeleton like it starts putting holes in its in its bones um it roars in in anger and defiance esh you're up next all right i'm going to move in front of the other one i am going line to of sight. okay it's I'm gonna throw that out there. I just did laser beams. <laughs> Don't get caught in that. Uh, uh, he's not wanting to move our way of wanting to. Is that out of your line of sight? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. I am going to rage. Alright. I am going to roll both of my giants and its. First one for 14, second one for 26. Uh, 14 misses, 26 hits. Rolling to hit, or rolling for the, the damage, I mean, six. All right. With rage. So eight after rage. All right. And that's pretty much all you can do there, so... Frost Giant A's turn. Uh, Valenus, give me a uh, constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, I was just reading through some of my features here. I thought I had... Oh, never mind. That's not a dexterity saving throw. <clears throat> never mind. Okay. Which one did you say? Constitution? Yeah. Closer you to me? Uh, Looks like about... 21? Oh, never mind. 21? Okay. Yes. It's 10 feet or 30 feet? I don't know. I think it's 10 feet. Never mind. How does Flash, flash of Genius work? Can I say it after or before? Like, when do I say Flash of Genius? Let me double check that here in a second. Alright, so you did pass the save, so you're going to take half damage. Uh, except 
it's not half damage because you are uh, vulnerable to cold damage right now. So take 34 points of cold damage total. Jeez. Am I still vulnerable oh from God. after smashing that sculpture? Yes, you are. How long does that last? I don't remember. That. 24 hours, I think. Okay, and it's only been like, what? At 16? least 16. 16 yeah. hours? Okay. So I think we've only rest. We've only done what, two, two long, long rests. rests. Yeah, okay. let me double check the... Uh... My statues 24 or 24 hours yeah you have okay. not quite made it to that 24 hour mark yet okay and you said how much 34 yeah okay and that was halved all right so that's all it's doing it's it basically used its uh freezing stare on you but it foregoed its great acts or, or great anchor attack uh and then you said your flash of genius it looks like it's a reaction so it looks like i can say it after the fact it says action type yeah. one reaction yes okay so if somebody has a low saving throw i can say flash of genius and help them yeah okay cool. as long as you have a reaction left Okay. You only get one per turn, but I'll let you know if that uh, okay. comes up. Okay. All right. Uh, now it's the other Frost Giant's turn, and he's going to attack Esh, because that is who is right in front of him. Sure. He is going to make his first attack and rolled a, a total of fucking 12. <laughs> Woo! And rolled that a misses. 15 for, um, I believe that is... That's also a, hit. a miss. I, what constitutes a hit? Uh, yeah, if, if it meets your AC... Armor class. Armor class is 16. Oh Ooh. shit, I'm looking at the wrong character. You're right, you're right, you missed. Ooh. I was looking at uh, the other barbarian's AC. All right, yeah, it completely missed. So you, yeah, it swings this uh, giant anchor at, like, at you. You dodge out of the way. It, like, almost wings off of you, but it's just a glancing blow, not enough to actually deal any damage to you. I love uh, Rust thing. Rusty, where the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm, just... <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you're putting in the food. <laughs> I'm gonna time? throw that food at you. How much time? Alexa, set a timer for 70 minutes. Dang. That's gonna be some good food. I'm Costco has phenomenal meatloaf. Costco has some actually pretty decent meals all around. Yeah. I was like, anything that, anything that goes in the oven for longer than 20 minutes, it's gonna, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be decent. Okay. They have yeah, uh, right, one of my favorite right. things there is they have a, and it's another thing that we do. Oh, Jesus, this lightning outside is crazy. Um, they have a uh, ravioli lasagna Ooh. where it's lasagna, but instead of lasagna noodles, they're raviolis that have uh, ricotta cheese in the middle of them. Oh, fuck. Mm. Now, if yeah. they were meat-filled raviolis, I'd be all over that. Well, it's got, like, meat sauce and meat all over, like, the actual mm -hmm. stuff. It's just they're stuffed with the ricotta instead of the ricotta being in between the, the noodle layers. Okay, Bro. gotcha. Ooh. It's Yum. fucking amazing. I haven't made a lasagna in a while. Uh, Rusty, you're your turn. Ooh, now I want to make a baked ZD. Zizoli's has really good ZD. Zizoli's has good everything. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. It's Valin's turn. So you went through all of that drama. 
<laughs> okay. She's gonna magic missile. And now it's your turn. <laughs> How much um, damage does she what? do? Eight? And the hell? Which one did she do? Uh, the one that she can see, which would be the uh, one in front of Ash. Just to make sure I'm seeing everything correctly, there's a dude here and a dude here, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Um, and where am I? Here. Oh. Bluffer Nutter. Ooh, could I do it? Can I... Do, do you think I could gallop in a sh straight towards this guy? Or do you no. think it wouldn't count? God, you no, just, you've got to cut dick. around corners. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go... Oh man, I really don't want to be, like, in the middle of them. Uh, if you actually galloped right here... Yeah. Like, over over here, yes, that would be a straight line. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm doing that. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to go... Oh, okay. I'm going to go first. Sorry, I was. I just realized that I did not use Becky Apples last time, but we killed the dude, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to attack this guy with my Crystal Greatsword. 24? That's a hit. Mm. Okay, doke, poke. Yeah, you poke him. Uh, uno momentito, I need to reroll one of those. Never mind, it was exactly the same. Uh, so, 11. Okay. And then I'm going to go again. Okay. Oof. 14. Mm, that's a hit. Oh! Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uno momentito. Damn. Uh, 10 damage. Okay. Uh, and then our good friend Becky Apples. Okay. Uh, if the horse moves. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> it's 20 feet. Oh, no, at least 20 feet. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I'm gonna do ho hooves. If the. Okay, and see if I hit for hooves. Yeah. Remember, it's a minus one because she doesn't share your exact uh, attack anymore. Yeah, I was just looking. I was just going to do it manually, but. Oh, that, oh that so works. you're saying just roll it and do minus one? Yeah, I would. Oh, that's a lot easier. Becky Apples rolled a 21. That's a hit. Mm. Okay, so not only is she going to do her hoof damage, which do you want me to do that first? Sure. Uh. 2d6 plus 4. Oh, that's the same as this. 2d6 plus 4. So there's 9 damage there. And then um, the target needs to succeed on a DC strength saving throw. DC 14. Uh, nat 20. Fuck you. <laughs> Even if it's a, it's a giant. Like, they've got a big-ass fucking strength saving throw. Well, he's not prone, but if he was, I could do another attack with Becky Apples. But that's our turn. All right. Bitch. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> I'm gonna mosey on my way through there, I guess. <laughs> now you want to join. Not... Now okay. you want to join. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm still content to play with this walrus if uh, <laughs> like I'm perfectly fine with this. Uh, yeah, I can make it there. Well, because it's all fucking cluttered in there. Like, it's it a small is. room. So, and then, yep, that's it. All right. Uh, Valen, it's your turn. All right. I, I want to... What is this... Reckless attack that I've got. Reckless attack? When I make my first attack on my turn, I can decide to attack recklessly, giving me advantage on a melee weapon attack rolling using strength. 
during this turn. Oh. But attack rolls against me have advantage until my next turn as well. Yeah, so you basically can roll with advantage no matter what, but they also get to hit you with advantage. Okay. The, but how does how how do I factor my strength into that? Uh, it, it's just saying that uh, you can't do it with like a ranged weapon because it's not strength based. So like your physical attack, anything that you would use your strength for, okay. Uh, is... Gotcha. Okay. So it doesn't like give me extra extra damage or extra anything. Right. Got just it. Just advantage. Right. Alrighty. I want to. I want to try this. Shit, where'd it go? I really should have read my character sheet before starting this campaign. Alright. So, on um, my first attack, I give advantage on rolls. Okay. Got it. I want to do that. Oh, excuse me. On my reckless attack. With, I'm just gonna keep swinging away with my great axe. Okay, are you gonna rage? I believe I am, but I was. I, was, I thought I needed to time that. No, as long as you attack on each turn, you don't have to worry about the time limit. Right, but I, th I thought there were one of my other traits involved me in, in enabling rage at a certain moment, but I may have misread it. All right. So, yes, I am going to enable rage. Okay. So that gives me an extra bonus action? Uh, no, it, it lets you do your normal actions. You also have uh, Frenzy, which will allow you to get a bonus attack as an... Uh, as a bonus action, so you would be able to get okay. three attacks per turn. Got it. Um, that's what but I was when to your think rage of. ends, you're gonna suffer one level of exhaustion. Yes. Okay. That's what. That's where I was. Where I was reading all that. Okay. Um, then, can I stack my frenzy and my reckless attack in in a, in a single turn? Yeah. And once you frenzy you can stay frenzied for the rest of, like, this combat. I like the sound of that. Okay. Okay, so Rage gives me... I gotta, I gotta get all these numbers straight now. So Rage gives me... advantage on... Uh, checks and saving throws. I get a plus a plus two to my melee damage. Then the reckless attack gives me advantage on my chance to hit rolls. Correct. Yes. And then frenzy gives me basically a third attack. Yeah. Uh, is that just on this turn, or do I get that every time my turn comes up? You'll get that every time your turn comes up until this combat ends. Got it. Okay. Oh, all right. I think I got all the. I think I got all that down. All right. So we'll roll advantage for my first attack. All right. A nineteen. That you missed out on a nat one there. Uh, that's a hit. Okay. Roll advantage for my second. A 26. That's a hit. And then my frenzy. Come on, get out of the way. The dice landed right on my little thing I gotta click on. And so for my bonus frenzy... That is going to be a 15. That's also a hit. Awesome. Alrighty. And I'm just going to use my great X for all three. And then 
This won't then this will not automatically factor in my plus two for the rage, correct? No, I'll, I'll, I've already add, manually added that for you. Okay. So I just. All right. So I'll first swing roll. is five, so that would be a total of seven. A 12 plus a 2, so that's 14. Okay. And a 14 plus the 2, so that'd be an additional 16. Awesome. Nice. All right. So you have done a massive chunk of damage to this thing. You uh, go into a frothing rage and start slamming your battle axe into this thing's thighs and ribs it's like you're chipping away bone at it uh it's looking pretty worse for the wear but not down yet okay so that was 16 14 so that's 30 30 that was a total of 37 damage on that on that turn that i did uh Correct? yeah i'll take your word for it okay and then i'm trying to remember how much i did before i'm just trying to get an idea of the of it's Oh, but it's health pool. Okay. Because we have we have a second one of these guys that we haven't even engaged with yet. Uh, you guys have been. I have. Oh. Yeah, you're the only one. Are you and uh you and Ray have been focusing on? Oh, okay, that I did The other gotcha. the rest of the party has been focusing on the other. I had the, my camera in a weird position. I didn't see everybody else kind of sneak in, sneak into the room there. Okay. Let's spin the camera All right. around. Uh, Fenty, it's your turn. <clears throat> all right, all right. Gonna move my little turret. Maybe? Oh, can you give me, um... Oh, oh yep, yep. Thank you. <laughs> so that can only go there. Um, let me see here. Use what's this do? Ooh, that's interesting, but doesn't really help. <laughs> um, Fuck it, I don't care. Let's, let's, let's... I just like the fact that I have three chances to do damage versus just my one. Do it. Yeah, we're gonna do Scorching Ray. Ooh, I saw it. Ooh. I don't know if I actually hit yet. <laughs> 18. That looks really cool. Hit. Funny too. Hit. And it's slowly rolling. And an 18. It. Nice. One, two, three. First one is seven. Second one is seven. <laughs> okay, eight. <laughs> All right. So yeah, your scorching rays come steering through this. Uh, they hiss and sizzle as they fly past all of the ice and snow. Uh, D 
dealing a, a decent amount of damage to that skeleton. Esh, it's your turn. Alrighty, I am still raged. So, roll my two giants and hits. First one being a whopping 15. That's a hit. And another a 21. That's a hit. Alright. I'm going to roll times two for hits. That's a 13. And that is 11. Now, I did miss out on something on the last time, but this time I'm going to bring it back up. Uh, when you hit a giant with it, the giant takes an extra D6 damage. Oh, okay. I, I did forget you had that ability. So yeah, go ahead and roll two extra D6. Uh, rolling those. A total of 10 there. All right. In addition... Um... The weapon's type and must succeed on a DC 15 strength saving throw or fall prone. All right, it failed. Wow. That's a weird way for it to fall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, well, that just changed my, my next plan. Made, made it easier. So, uh, the giant is going to, uh... Lay down. Yeah. <laughs> Not that one. That's your... The other one's A. Yeah, this one's going to, uh... Or no, this one's going to go first. No. I have these in the wrong order. There we go. Russia and A should be the one right in front of me. Yeah. B is that the was... one who, who goes first. So... He is uh, going to take his movement to stand back up <laughs> and make an attack against Esh. Because I pissed him off. We He is going to use... Is he? Oh, yeah. He, he's going to go ahead and... Uh, the first one hits. Uh, I'm going to try to roll these so you guys can see them too. And the second one hits. Okay. So we're going to roll the first damage. Uh, 19 points of bludgeoning damage. So I believe since you're in rage, you take half that because of your subclass. Okay. That would be uh, eight. Uh... No, that's 16. Nine. 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 No. Well, yeah, that's the closest yeah. we can get. Yeah, it'll it'll round down. And half of this, so eight more damage. Bludgeoning. Eight more damage. So I didn't get to make any saving throws against his damage, huh? Not for <laughs> not for this one. The He didn't use his freezing stare like uh, he did on... Uh-huh. This is just a flat against your, your armor bonus. Yep. <laughs> Okay. And the first one, a, a over here, is going to go next, and he is going to make an attack against uh, Valinus. He's going to do the right. same thing, making a... Stabby, stabby, spear, spear. Yep, he's thrust, going to thrust. swing that uh, anchor at him. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's an anchor. <laughs> it's, it's like a spear minus a stick. Sure, sure. So 27 to hit for the first one, and then 25 to hit for the second one. So, for the first damage, uh, go ahead and take 34 points of damage, Valinus. Are you both? <laughs> Are you just told? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh... Where did it go? Oh, it's, uh, it, okay, it only goes against effects, not just straight-up physical damage. Okay. Never mind. And... Okay, for that it's... puts oh, me ahead. at zero. That puts you at zero. 
All right, so it's going to use its second attack against you. Which automatically takes one of his. Yep, so if you are uh, on a failure success, go ahead and mark one as a failure. Because you took a hit while you were down. Okay. And that's all it can do. Rusty. No, Valin. Oh, Valin. You're right. Thank you so much. I'm looking at the D&D uh, &D Beyond, and she's not on the list there, so I always miss that. Valin is going to Magic Missile. Um, I'm not going to bother rolling it. Yeah. Oops. Yep, that. Wow. <laughs> Reverse magic. That, that, I didn't know that the skeletons had counter spell. <laughs> uh, and that kills the... Uh, it had four HP left. So, wow. <laughs> she literally could have rolled absolute all ones, and it would have killed. Nice. Uh, Rusty, it's your turn. Your... Uh, one of your barbarians is now making death saving throws. It's okay, it's the one right next to you. Um. Hmm. I, uh, I am going to. I feel like if I should I take this guy down and then worry about healing? Do, how do, 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 do. how do you huh? properly use this danger sense? I get an advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you I get can that in the danger see. zone. Yeah, so <laughs> think about it like if uh, Elrin were to cast a fireball at you, you would have like. A spider sense that tells you to get the fuck out of the way so it gives you a bonus to like dodge things or or if you're walking down a hallway with a bunch of traps and they start going off you okay, get so that is like, that something i have of... to call out while in this situation this giant skeleton guy is taking his turn well in this case you weren't making a dexterity saving throw he's okay. just hitting you okay um so you it wouldn't be a, a it wouldn't do much for this situation, but for situations where you have to, like, actually be dexterous and, like, light on your feet, then it's it's helpful. Okay. Basically dodging traps and area of effects. Okay. Got it. Um, because I'm not moving, can I heal and attack? Uh, because you're not moving, can you heal and attack? No, because it takes a full action to heal. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. But can't Becky Apple still attack? And then Becky Apple's can still attack, shoot. yes. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> um, alright, I'm gonna use... What is... Oh. Uh, I'm gonna do. Who's blowing up the Discord? Bye. We are. I have I have it minimized. All I just keep hearing this the ping all the time. I'm just like, geez, everybody's all of a sudden super active, like in all of the Discords all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm gonna lay on hands for five. Yeah, you lay on those hands, baby. I say well, I don't know if I consent to this. Okay, I'll keep it. If you want to stay down, then. <laughs> I mean, we are in this. Bad. We are in this special dun dungeon. So, what type of like healing are we uh, applying here? It, it, do you want to not have to make death saving throws? He wants to. Right. <laughs> I assume you want to be up, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No comment. <laughs> Look at that out there. Is it that bird? <laughs> oh, I think it's the lightning. <laughs> it has been nonstop lightning for really like five minutes now. I've been watching it. I heard you get like, free electricity to go out there with like, a metal pole. 
Don't you want to be struck by lightning? Oh, yeah. Only if I can get the cool scar. Yeah. Because you get magic powers like that. Okay, so I do five lay on hands. Okay. So you're instantly alive. You don't have to do any more death saving throws or anything like that. Yeah, you can. Unless you go down again. You have five HP remaining now. Your death saving throws are all successes. So I, so I can heal up to five, you're saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then um, Becky Apples is going to kick this bitch. Kick it real good. Minus one. Oh, oh no. Uh, Becky Apples Some... doesn't do shit. Oh. All right. Jennifer Lopez, your turn. Okay. Oh, cool. Hold on, before I get yell that shift, click. Right? God <laughs> damn. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> I want to punch this guy that just got up. <laughs> Me? Cold damn. Oh, <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I just do my rolls. Uh, fire fist of doom, I guess. Um, is that a new one? Yeah. First one is uh twenty one. That's a hit. Ooh. Well, that was the wrong button, but whatever. That's still it's still the same modifier. So who gives a shit? Uh, the second one. <laughs> ten. Yes. <laughs> cool. So one damage. Uh, ten, and then for my bonus action, I'll just do a regular unarmed strike. Seventeen. That's a hit. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Over. Nine damage, so a total of 19. Yeah. Uh, it was a total of... He knows how to count. He's a 19. A total of 38 points of damage. Okay, uh, yeah, I'd rather take yours. <laughs> yeah, as you... Fire? No, as you start, like, punching, you realize that, like, uh, this skeleton has very brittle bones. Um... Uh. From the drink. ice and you've got all, that, nope. and all of those, uh, <laughs> all like your bludgeoning damage that your fists are doing is like cracking, and it you collapse its uh its chest cavity, it falls apart. Sounds like a an old timey xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. That was the uh, the end of that battle. There, I helped. Yeah, and we needed you to finish off. I mean, you know, somebody has to finish. Story of my life. Good now, story. Are you sure you want to open that door with your five HP of health? Open I want to kick this door wide open. Oh, All let right. us lay some some cure wounds. No, okay. No, he already opened it. I hope he dies. <laughs> 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 Ouch! Door I, see how much, I, I see how much I'm like. his toe here. and he dies. Yeah, You're I was right. gonna have my turret move up. Um, you still can. It's you're not in combat. Okay. Uh, okay. As you kick open this yeah. door, you see this chamber contains a dead female frost giant encased oh. in a solid block of ice, carved to resemble a standing sarcophagus. The block of ice is 25 feet tall, 12 feet wide, and 10 feet thick. Behind the entombed giant, embedded in the north wall, is a door made of ice. The ceiling is carved in the scowling visage of a male frost giant with an icy beard. Yeah, I lost the... I'll fix it. I find it. <laughs> I Don't find it. Me. Don't yell at me, please. <laughs> it was my turn. <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually. Oh, you're, you're good. Just, just right over here. You're there. You just had lo lost line of sight. No, I, I lost the line of sight goblin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Um, Can we wow. put the, the, the eye sculpture in the bag of holding? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds <laughs> like the patriarchy. Oh, my God. Just, whoa. I, I don't think, think I we'll see lose... the goblin, guys. <laughs> oh, we did lose them. Um. Huh. So a male fresh giant is just like glaring. No, it's uh, 
the male frost giant is like the ceiling is carved right 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 like a like the visage of a male frost giant it is the same visage as the statuette that you picked up earlier oh that's also chipped yeah (laughs) interesting interesting and there is a big frozen ice door at the far end of this looks like this is some sort of mausoleum or uh or or like burial site oh so it's not like i want to open the door all right esha rushes in and forces the door open all you see in this room is leaning against the back wall of this room is a formidable weapon a giant sized great axe its steel head is resting on the icy floor you can sense some sort of magical properties about this thing but it's giant sized correct what's in the um, what's in the chest that's yeah, the uh it is the chest the... okay yeah. got it i got it it's not a um, mimic <laughs> um... and then for your uh your your artificer here would know that magical items, if it is a magical item, uh, once you attune to it, which takes about an hour of basically taking a short rest while focusing on it, um, will uh, like magical items will size themselves to the user. Right. Hmm. Um, but we don't know what kind of magic it does, right? Correct. Not until you attune to it or identify it. Okay. Does somebody want to attune to it? Do I have that ability to do that? Yeah, anybody can just okay. hold yeah. on to it and... I mean, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, my primary weapon is already a great axe, so maybe I could use an upgrade. All right. So everybody can take a short rest if they would like to do so. You'll be spending an hour in here hanging out uh, while he attunes to this. They will be spending an hour hanging out in here. I'm going to go hang out with my walrus buddy. That's fair. So okay, so now I have I have multiple options for a short rest. Um, I can reset max eight. Excuse me. Reset max HP changes during the rest. Automatically apply healing with dice result. And then I have another set uh, okay. thing for barbarian. I have, I can roll a bunch of a couple of yeah, d12s. So un for now, uncheck everything. Okay. Um. Normally, when you're doing this, you can take those hit dice where it says barbarian and put a check mark in there. Okay. And then you would roll a one d twelve plus two per check mark you make, uh, okay. and that would that would heal you. However, because of the island you're on, because of the how close you are to Oral's seat of power, um, mm-hmm. the Frost Maiden's seat of power, you can only regain your constitution modifier for each check mark you take uh okay. so you would get, gain 2 hp per just a flat 2 hp each okay. uh each box you take okay. and you get all of those boxes back when you take a long rest okay so I just uncheck everything and then take the short rest yeah okay um I'll go ahead and do cure wounds on him while we're taking the rest. Okay. And I'm rolling for it now. And that did not give me any HP back. Is that no? Correct. Okay. Uh, you do. So... You get ten from me. Yeah, you'll get ten from her, but you won't get any back from the short rest. Okay. All right, so you, uh, as you attune to this, you you feel a slightly stronger um, 
it you feel like it it's pumping you full of full of energy uh i will give you a i will put this on your character sheet here in a moment um you will be gaining plus one bonus to attacks and damage rolls made with this weapon and your maximum hit points is going to increase by one for each level so nice. you're level seven so your max hp will go up by seven nice sweet however uh -oh. dun, dun, dun. always a catch there is always a catch i am going to send you a description in discord right now okay it speaks to him the secret it's a secret catch Uh, let me see a minute. I'm going to make sure I'm reading through it before I send it to you. That way I don't come oh, up with sorry. any surprises. Okay, that's a lot. Wall of text. And I've added that to your character sheet and <clears throat> equipped it for you. Awesome. I am going to have to read through this like five times to make sure I take it all in. No problem. But, uh, all right. Oh, that's weird. It didn't give you the bonus plus one. There we go. I fixed it. There we go. I I fixed it. Yep, that just just changed for me. Okay, sweet. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you guys have taken your short rest. Um while you get while you've been doing that while everybody's been doing their own thing uh Jennifer Lopez has been kind of talking to the uh the walrus out there. <laughs> it's been happy to talk about whatever like whatever he wants and and things that he might not want. Um you uh you do find out that the tunnel that you guys just took was the uh, tomb of the Frost Giant Queen, who <laughs> died before the Frost Maiden took over the island. Uh, this was her fortress. Um, the tunnel to the south of you guys, it leads to the vault, which you already knew. But what you didn't know is that to enter the vault, one must pass four tests each tests ref each test reflects an aspect of the frost maiden um the tests lie beyond the four doors that lead the way from the room so in order to even access that vault you're going to t need to take those tests only somebody who has passed all of the tests can enter interesting each test reflects an aspect of the Frost Maiden. 
uh, cruelty, endurance, isolation, and preservation. I don't like that first one. <laughs> Is it going to make us beat up puppies or something? Well, well it might now that now. you said something out loud. <laughs> you got to be careful when you when you say this stuff. You give the DM ideas. As a person who punched the ice sculpture. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> All right. So everybody's got their uh, short rests. The only other exits out of this place are through the tests. Okay, so we so we can no longer go back up that staircase you know, that we you came can, down. Yeah, in. no, you can go back up. Like you can still continue to explore, but I'm saying the only other way out of other way out of like this bottom floor is okay, through the test it. rooms, and then that will open up the vault if any of you pass all four tests. Got it. What were the what were the tests again? They are uh, the test of cruelty. Endurance, isolation, and preservation. And I'll drop game. that into Discord as well, just to be safe so that I can remember it next time. Dragon Ball Z? Yes. Nice. Well, hey, I just realized something that's actually kind of cool. This whole lower level that we're in is actually in the shape of a snowflake. Yep. Neat. Uh. I get the sense that this is where we're calling it. Yep. yep, this is where okay. we will be calling it. Right before uh, you guys are... I mean, I assume, are you guys, are you guys going to be or taking the test? Or tribute. Or... Because <laughs> it's, it's going to be all of you, or, like, you would all have to go in as a group. Uh, okay. Except for Jen. She's exempt. <laughs> Yes. Boo! <laughs> um, but yeah, that is where we will be calling it for this week. Uh, next week, we will pick up with the beginning of the tests of the Frost Maiden. Ooh, fun. Is it like the Olympics? It, it sure. is. It's exactly like the Olympics. Oh, it's like daddy. weird. They, they're actually being sued by, uh, by the Olympics. <laughs> Look, so. I didn't ask for success. And yet Before, we did. We did. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm going to use my magic rope trick, and that's where I'll be safe, even though it's only supposed to last for an hour, but that's it's a special rope trick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but before I do that, I would like to gift my three thingies, <laughs> infused things, so the bag of holding I give to my dear friend Ray to shove wherever she would like to keep this prison pocket. Oh, diggity. I will um, treat it with respect and love. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, please keep that uh, bugle safe for me. Mm -hmm. um, I really want that bugle. Um, I will give my all-purpose tool um, to Eshrin. Uh, have fun. Okay. I, is that what makes the turrets? No, no. it. That's me. I'll, I'll <laughs> uh, put a link into. Okay. Discord. And then I have a signet ring that I would bestow our one friend, who can cast spells. Hmm. <laughs> so rusty. I, I no. actually meant Kitsune. Yeah. <laughs> if he shows up. If he doesn't show up, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it to Rusty for safekeeping so she can wear it if he's not here. And then she can give it to him when he is here. How about that? Sounds good. So if it, if it can help you in the tr trials and then dun, if he's dun, not dun, here, dun, you can dun, still at least dun, still dun. use it. 
And that's cool it. Beans. All right. Been fun playing with you. Yes, thank you. I appreciate you all, and You're I fun. won't miss you. And you are welcome back anytime. Lies. Damn. <laughs> wow. Now that you're going to have some free time, uh, you going to join Star Citizen with us? Oh my god. <laughs> I need to. You need to. I don't know, maybe. Look at here, Jin. We can get all that together there. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like, think think about this. Like, I'm always like, hey, let me ride Z. It's going to be like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and go off with Z. And then, you know. I mean, it's that sounds like a them problem. <laughs> also, that's, that's exactly how Z plays when it comes to me. Like, he just jumps into my ship and... <laughs> I, um, if you if you do play, I'll buy you a full set of purple armor too. So. Oh shit. Uh, oh soul. no. Oh no. We can raid drug labs together and. Oh nice. Yeah, Devil picks me up all the time, and he's like, "Shoot things, K," and then I go do that. <laughs> Is it like that one Mean Girls scene where you know she rolls up with the car and it's like we're gonna go shopping, bitches, or something like that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. You do need to fly with them. They're like in Discord, always playing Star Citizen Solid. Uh, I am These as other well. Nerds. Play with a... just a different Discord. <laughs> I can't like. I don't even know where my Hotas is right now. My Hotas is packed somewhere. I do not use that. Yeah, nobody. You nobody. Don't I'm it. the only one who uses one, except for. Especially if you're not actually going to fly. Oh, I want to fly am... though. You don't need it to fly. Uh, in that case, definitely. Please pick up the game. Uh, somebody else needs to learn how to fly. You don't want to fly. <laughs> I, I can fly. <laughs> First of all, I know how to fly. It's just not very well. <laughs> I fly you gotta dodge those well. turrets and. Can you use your controller? Did somebody say that something used the controller to fly? Yeah. You can, can, but I've heard it, that it is absolutely finding it, terrible. Finding it is a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's better just to KBM it and... Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. And, and the All flight right. controls with keyboard and mouse aren't bad. No, I've heard there's... Like, especially a lot of players who do space combat, you prefer keyboard and mouse because it's so easy to uh, aim versus... I, keep, I keyboard and mouse on turrets, but uh, when I'm flying, I use the joystick, the HOTUS. Yeah. Mm, mm. I'm the same way. Okay. I mean, right. I probably could right. find Good it guys. somewhere. Night! Night, Good night, man. All right. Uh, anyways, I'm going to head out for the rest of the night. Uh, it's been fun playing with you guys. We'll pick up next week. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. I will uh, catch you guys then. Have a great rest of your night, everyone. All right, Bye. Have a night. Thank you. All right, guys. You're flying with K&M, all right. I'll probably pick it up sometime. I don't know. I just I have so many games that I'm committed in, and I'm just really into V Rising right now. And because you know, it's like you know my latest survival kick. Once I get bored or done with that, I'll probably move into something else. I actually bought a server for V Rising because. We, me and Divide were part of a server and then that server just shut down and all of that work that we put in or rather he put in I had like just started pretty much uh, got wasted so I bought a server so that doesn't happen again but yeah thank you everyone who came out for this stream it is my last um D, D stream for a while um i will be back of course with more D, D later uh just gonna take a small break um i obviously like i was talking about with re-rising stuff my mind is just kind of elsewhere and i just want to be able to fully commit to uh D, D when i'm there um, but yeah, I will catch you all later. Um, I do have a stream planned over on Twitch on Wednesday. We're going to start 
uh, Life is Strange True Colors, which I'm pretty excited about since um, I've been waiting to play it and I've just been holding off until I get more situated and I'm pretty settled in now. So we'll start that on Wednesday. So I will see you all then over on Twitch. Bye guys, have a good night.